Sure, sort of, can be, maybe. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, but doop doop the bow. I haven't been here in a while. What is this strange place? Hello. Get out. It has been a while, hasn't it? It's been a fucking hot minute. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Mm. Something that isn't entirely correct. Mm. I can adjust it. It's been it's been so long. <laughs> I've sort of forgotten exactly the settings I wanted for the camera it ain't off the it ain't off the table mm -mm. Um, but enough blathering I think enough blathering indeed yeah health's been real whack recently so <laughs> sorry about the delay in lack of streams I'd say yeah no it sort of just came in hit me in the sack and said no <laughs> past like week or so it's just been excruciating <laughs> but you know it is how it is um i just felt bad that i wasn't communicating as well and that i didn't get to do the streaming that i loved as much but you know hopefully we're getting there seeing another have another appointment later today so it'll be a bigger break so to so to speak and we'll see after the first one see how it goes go Oh, how are you going? Oh, thanks. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Appreciate it. How you been? Are you enjoying your time off? Because I know she's saying you're on break now and stuff. You came back when I suddenly came back as well. Convenient timing, if I do say so myself. Well, what have you been up to? How are you enjoying your break? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I really appreciate that, but you really don't have to. That's so nice of you, thank you. Oh, you're an absolute legend. But, just sleeping for the most part? I get that. It's pretty much been me. Um, yeah, I've been real... My health's been real bad for the past week or so, at least. Maybe a week and a half now. I don't know, time's fucking weird, eh? Um, it was whack. But, um, I'm at least at a spot, spot where I'm like, I can walk. Uh, no emergency. Let's try a stream. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. And if I cock it on stream suddenly out of nowhere, hey, it's content. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, content. Num, num, num. It's all it is. No, but, you know, uh, it's sort of. It's one of those things where you sort of go. I gotta weigh up the cos and cons because I'm like, it's something that I have the advantage of time for because I really love it. Um, but obviously, with an autoimmune and like bunch of other meds I'm I like conditions which mean I'm on like 10 meds my body sometimes is just like no you ain't walking you feel like you're being burnt alive and I'm like probably not that bad but that is how it feels yes uh, <laughs> so I tend to sort of just slowly desist um but that being said uh it's been around this same time that in turn I guess um there's been some one second. Okay, cool. Let's just pump on some music, I think. Rather than just the intro stuff. Oh! Ah! My ears! Good. And thank you. Yeah, I will try and take it easy. That's what I've been doing. But I felt bad because I like, really enjoy streaming and I'm like, I need it. 
I desire. I love streaming because it gives me an opportunity to meet amazing people and help people and just, you know, you know, be a nice, just sort of chill stuff. But I like my sushi blanket. I like it very much. Um, I guess two big main announcements, I guess. Uh, there was a small student passion project, for like a student uh, film festival that um, I am in. And the teaser trailer, I guess, is out. It won't be out properly for non-festival goers until probably early next year. Um, it's not like one of the bigger things with NDAs that I, I'm in and stuff that aren't really announced yet. But I think that's the main thing on the acting scene um, that should be coming soon. Uh, in my Discord, there is the link to it and the for the little trailer. But I'm excited. I'm happy to see. Because it was really fun. I didn't have as much... My health was not the best at the time. And I sort of... Uh, didn't have as much time to re-practice accents as I would have liked. Because ever since I had my jaw issues in 2020... I sort of had to stop doing as many accents as I normally love doing. And so I was very rusty. <laughs> so I can hear it. And other people probably can. But they were like, no, they really enjoyed it. They were really happy with it. And they still wanted it to be somewhat you know, comedic, and so it didn't have to be full-on, like, mm, mint, crop of the crop. So I'm excited about that, and so that's a cool announcement thingy. Um, and I guess aside from that, um, my tuber model is in the works. I know. I've talked about it for a while and sort of roughly gone over about little hints that I would have it, but no, I definitely will have it now. It's no longer a would, but a will. So that's in the works, um, and so the second I can get some little teasers out for everyone, I will. But just know, sometime either early next year or late this year, it should be around. So get hyped. That means it sort of puts the pressure on to be like, I really need to make sure I get the rest of my overlay stuff done by the time I have my model out. So at the very least, it fits the theme and not just like, here's shitty stock here, but here's something you made, like this one. I'm trapped in a box! Ah! But, uh, hey, Zeline. Hope you're well. It's good to see you as well. I hope you've both been well. Sorry I've been a bit AWOL for a week and a half. But, no emergency visits, and I'm back. So I'm going to consider that a plus. But, yeah, so those are the two main sort of little announcements. I guess Tuba model is officially in the works, and the Hey Mac Arena, one, two, da 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 boo! And the, what's the first thing I said, Tumblr? Oh, yes. Uh, and the acting student film thing. Uh, I should apply for more proper acting and voice acting things, but my health's just been whacking my head. And when my health isn't whacking my head, I'm like, I want to improve this stream. And so I do. <laughs> so I do be vibing. I do be grooving. I agree. 100%. 10 out of 10 groove. But yeah, for now, um, at the moment, we're going to have to deal with Cute, but funky, uh, emote drafts, uh, nothing too fancy. Ooh, a hey, taco. <laughs> but, but, uh, feel free to, any of you, I trust and love you all, if you want to jump in, always feel free to, exactly. They're the emotes I've started, and either we'll get someone to commission to finish, or we'll actually finish myself. Who knows? Because I do enjoy doing all of my stream setup stuff on stream. It's just something I enjoy. Uh, but today is a little different. I didn't want to do full-on normal art because that's a little too too much movement for my achy, breaky body instead of my achy, breaky heart. And so I thought, I haven't touched map making in a long time. And I love map making. I used to be like a forever DM and I loved it. I'd make worlds and everything. So I'm going to be extremely rusty. That being said, just because I'm rusty doesn't mean I don't want to do it. And so today we're going to go back to looking into Tailspire because that's early access and still got a lot to go. And so I want to have a look at what they've added and see if we can just all come up together with some cool little map. Um, so any and all of your fun little input, I think, will be something to look at. Mm. I'm going to mute desktop for a brief second because I don't know how loud this app is. <gasps> I know, crazy. Because <laughs> I haven't opened this app up on stream before. So, but what have you been up to, Celine? Anything fancy, anything interesting, or just the casual, just the no normal job grind? You enjoying the new job? That going all right? 
We do have some menu music. Yes, yes, but I want to see if this game's... Yes, you're playing an early access version <laughs> of the game. Now, I'm going to try something with the camera, because instead of having to do a filter every time I switch, I want to make it so that the camera itself activates when I switch, which could work poorly or very well. Because <laughs> I don't have two cameras, so we shall see. However... New job's fun. It's interesting hearing all the secrets. Yes, that's one of the things I loved about hospitality because it really gets you like gets the day sort of go by and just go well. Was just simply hearing all the little fun like work gossip, gossip, and just you just become this tight knit. Even if it's only in work, just bunch of friends, or you have people you don't get along with. It's either hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? I have a boyfriend and never gonna miss ya. If I come down that song in a while. Um, however, it's bing bang bong and bing bang bong. And just secrets of the place. Ooh, that is also very common, I think, in hospitality. There's the this dodgy stuff in the restaurant and there's dodgy stuff outside the restaurant. I think my favorite thing was when, like, a tourist went to a the restaurant I used to work at. And when I did that, um, I think I loved... Um, it was hilarious where... Um, there was this, how do I say, uh, customer who came in and maybe they're not, they weren't used to country Australia and they saw mushrooms in their pasta dish. And lately they're like, oh, um, excuse me, there's kangaroo poo in my, in my pasta. And we're sitting there, we took it back and all of us, the, me and all the other chefs, plus all the wait stuff, had a look at it and we're like, cause we brought it back and we're like, no, that's a mushroom. <laughs> and so we sort of brought that back. Like, we can, I guess, re we can replace it for you, but you will have to pay it, because these are actually the mushrooms in the dish. It's up to you if you want to do, I think, non-verbatim. I can't remember. It's been years and years and years. Fuck, I'm getting old. <laughs> but um, they were just like, eh. uh, and it's sort of just like, okay. And I'm pretty sure we sort of made a new one and brought the old one, and we're eating it, <laughs> and, like, and they had this confused look on their face, because they were eating it, and we're just like, see, there's fucking mushrooms, you're fine, but I don't know, always loved it, it's always just, it's always a bit of a hoot when you listen to that sort of stuff, um, people are something else, I think, is probably the best way to describe it, um, they're creatures, um, <laughs> yes, people are creatures, yes. That is 100% what they are. <laughs> but, um, aside, uh, they thought, yeah, I mean, it's just like, it doesn't even look like that. So you could tell they weren't, I guess, from country Australia just simply because they didn't know that. Oh, dear. But it was hilarious. I guess enough of my dumb ramblings. Um, if you haven't heard of Tailspire, it's an early access... Um, map making slash role playing D and D thing, or just any D twenty system game. I haven't touched it in forever, so we're gonna give that a little geese. If the camera doesn't work when we switch, I'm trying something new. We'll find out. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. It did not work when we switched, but I must figure out why because I must grow. I must become a better streamer. Me saying that also confused as fuck as to why something's not working. Hello? Hello? Camera? So this should be. Uh, what is this? Game cam? Uh, can you work? Uh, uh, interesting. So if I did this and that. Aha! Jonathan, I'm banging your dot! <laughs> I return, yes. Now, I'm curious. Do we want to listen to just some normal, sort of just nice mix of D&D music or listen to what they have? I'm going to turn off what they have in the game for now. One, because I don't know its level of copyright. And two, uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> However, I think we should be good. Okay, let's give it a wiggle. Let's give it a whirl. Love stream struggles? Fuck yeah. It means it's real. Yes, yes, this is early access. There, is, There's a lot 
Um, yeah, because it was released literally this year, I think. Um, but let's create a new one. There were some one-shot ones. Actually, let's have a look at the old ones and see if they still work. Um, they weren't exactly finished, but I do want to have a look to see how these maps looked. Because normally I would use other maps, and so these were test maps to see what this program would be like. Uh, maybe it's because it, oh, it's older, but where the fuck are we? Hello? Oh, it's slowly loading. It's loading. It's loading. It is loading. I don't remember the controls, so, you know. It is loading. It lives. Um, boom, 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 boom. Other settings? Ah, yes. Where is uh, elevates objects? No, I want to elevate myself, please. Camera controls. Rotation. Movement. Page up, page down. Oh, the controls are so weird. I forgot that. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. So, there we go. There we go. Also, I still want to do, like, fun D&D &D one-shots on here at one stage. I think that'd be pretty damn good. Pretty fucking Gucci. Quiet. Hmm? Quiet on set. Hmm. I think that would be fancy as fuck. Looks so good. Thank you. We'll switch to... So I switched a different time because I want to see what things they've added as well. Let's look at build mode. Yep. Yeah. How the fuck do I change what time it is again? It's been too long. <laughs> is it a filter? I can't remember. Okie dokie, this may take a hot second. Everyone, quiet! <laughs> this is not something. Is there a, how do I... Camera? Building? Controls? Toggle light? Yes, K. Okay, then. Creature controls, rules, other. Flashlight, L, because I'm the GM. Also, yes, so this is Tailspire, and you can technically play with other players on this, but it is very new, so there is a lot. Like, oh, Goblin! Oh, character! Oh. Whatever. Turn based mode, cutscene mode, build mode. Yes, please, bitch. Maybe I set it up onto play mode rather than actually creation. Oh, it wasn't ticked. I just thought because it was red it was ticked. Well, fuck me sideways. Oh, yes, the build light. There we go. There we go. It was just a nice little small thing to go into a dungeon I made in a different mode. Yes. Yes. I see. And then you got the grid. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. By the way, the recent follow thingy is laggy. Not sure why. Neither. Stream elements is weird, I'm going to be honest. I did see that you fo um you subscribe the subscription thing when you first started. I saw that. Uh, so I suspect it's one of the weird stream elements things where... When you switch to another overlay, sometimes it replays it, and I don't know why. Um, but it's such a minor thing that I'm like... Eh. <laughs> uh, but, hey, Googly, how are you going? Welcome back to me being alive and being confused. Um, mm, hold on. Camera properties. Is it being weird? Ah! I need to adjust something. Mm-hmm, that's okay, yes. Not that much. No, no, I don't want to be orange. And make sure color is there correctly. Mm, sharpness. I am an I am now anime. <laughs> uh, no, I need to yes, that is the most accurate while also not being too pungent. Meh ew pungent. Now I can. Uh, okay, let's all adjust the camera together to defeat the lag. <laughs> but what have you been up to, Googly, at the moment? Playing some Valorant, I presume? I don't remember. The build men knew that. Well, it's been too long. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. 
No, don't move the piece. Ah. You fuck. Oh, yes. Escape deletes things. I remember I did not like that. <laughs> it's okay. So this was just an old test. That's okay. Exit to main menu. Yes. I was just having a look at uh, two old little test things I was doing. Because this is very, very early access. Um, as it... It makes sure it lets you know multiple, multiple times. <laughs> so, take that for granted. Which one was this? Let's try... Oh, yes, it would be this one that I haven't tried yet. Yes. So we're going to have a look at the older ones, just because it's been a while. It's okay, yeah, no voice. Yeah, it's all right. You'll get that back. Ooh. Don't boom, boom, boom. I know there's music going on, but calm down. Oh, my. No. I'm not battling anything. So, shush. Um, where the fuck am I? Where the fuck... Re <laughs> Stretch and hydrate. I just started. Ah! Oh, okay. That was a good stretch. Three or four things cracked. You did that well. Good timing. Oh, crack me nipples off. <laughs> Thank you. My back will go... Oh, shit. Always fell off me chair. <laughs> oh, no. Now, I'm going to use my build light to figure out where the fuck I am. <laughs> I don't remember. Where am I? Got to start good, eh? That's true, that's true. How do I change the time again? Because there's turn-based mode, yes. But how on earth do I change... Um... Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Here we go, here we go. This is a bit better. So, you would come through here... Oh, well, thank you! <laughs> you really don't have to do that. People are being so nice, I don't know why. Desist! Desist, but thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. You're a legend. No! Desist, but thank you. Oh, Tombly! You're an absolute legend, you Chad. Fucking hell, you're carrying us all. Whew, how does it feel to be carrying us all on your back? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, nah, you're a legend. Absolute gem. How do I make my camera face the other way again? <laughs> Half of this will be me be going, me being going. How does one do camera again? <laughs> um. Yes, I know the easiest. Uh huh. B X B X. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh well. <laughs> oh, absolute, absolute gem. Hey Kiwi, how you going? Welcome back. I may have been dead for a few weeks. Well, week and a half, but I am alive-ish. No hospital. I live. But how are you? How are you? Uh, Tumble's being an absolute gem like always, and uh, Slim Googly have been great as well. So how are you going? How are you going? But yes, at the moment, uh, it's sort of just been a very quick sort of two little announcements and then trying to go back to this old early access um, game again because I want to see what's changed, what's updated, and it's a little bit easier and simpler in comparison to something like... Um, Oh, yes, middle click, middle click. Why don't you say that in the thing? Yeah, it's a little bit easier and simpler than something like um, normal, like, full-on art, because there's less movement. But, yes, this was the portal they came out of that I made, and then they came through here. I remember this. Yeah, they came through here, because these are little one-shots to test the map. And then they sort of, like, they would go through here. I can't remember how to change the actual lighting, but down we go. Down we go. Motherfucker. I can't remember how you change le levels, so. Let's just go here. 
Oh, that was just a- oh yeah, that was a different part of, of the one shot. Yeah, yeah, different part of the one shot. Because there was this one, it's just like a nice little house. Um, where they came from, that was a tavern. How do we lower la- oh yes, we lower this top bit if we want to lower layers, don't we? Yes, 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 I remember now. So you could do this, to lower the layers, and this is the, uh, like, little tavern they were staying at. So you could come in. Uh, how's the recovery? I don't think we can say the name on Twitch. I think we can now. Uh, we It used to be bad, but I think it's been long enough that you can now. Um, I think it was just... Yeah, but this is Australia. In Australia, you're allowed to say a few more things. <laughs> uh, if I'm wrong, I'll find out. But from memory and from what I know, in Australia, you can... It's a little bit more lax, because there's different, like, slightly different rules. There's obviously, like, generalized ones. But things like, oh, yeah, can't. Like, that's just going to be slang for Australia. As long, like, the only reason they would make that negative is if then you targeted at someone. Um, and I think, yeah, COVID was fine. It was more just the after effect, as you were mentioning, where what would happen was, it was effectively just like some infection thing. Still a little bit of pain and tightness, but I've also been just for the past week and a half doing through some excruciating pain and then somehow like twisted my leg. So I've been vibing and dying. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, be dying, be dying. It is the way. What do you mean, see you next Tuesday? I should hopefully be here tomorrow. Oh, as in, like, uh, we're good to you recovering from one thing? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. But yeah, so I'm still a bit dead and sore and stuff. And <laughs> to fuck yourself on another. Yeah, I mean, it is how it is. <laughs> but. Yeah, uh, going okay. <laughs> just happy to be back and chat with everything, everyone, and it's just good. It's good to hear from everyone again as well. Always feel free to pop by and chat if you want. Um, y'all all good friends. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been good. I wanted to do some art stuff, but I haven't touched Tales by in a while. I wanted to see what it was like, and I haven't. I don't have the strength to do, like, some proper art for a bit. So we're just looking at some of the older ones I'd done. Just to remind myself, and just to show some people. Yeah, so this is like a tavern, I guess. Oop. And then people would move through that, and then... Oop. Yeah, there we go. Because you could sort of see different layers of it. Which I love this effect, where you can like show the layers of the building. Oh, so depending on what layer you have, you're good. Then there was this, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, this little mushroomy area. So this here, um, we had, this was like a bit of a ambush fight here from memory. And yes, you could sort of, if you're like, where is someone? You could just go into the roofs and be like, okay, what's in this roof? <gasps> it's -a me, Chris the Pratt. Um, but I did love that effect. Um, and it's, it's really cool. For an early access map thing, it's pretty decent. And the fact that you can then also use it to play with players, can't complain there. But yes, this is the thing we were showing at the beginning. People go down. Now now that I remember how to lower the thingies. Oh, are we ready? And then in theory... In theory, this should all lower. There we go. Absolute tits. Uh, so yeah, they would come down these stairs. You'd go through. And then... Effectively, if you went through around the place... From memory, I didn't really fill up much because I knew the players would be guided by light. Is generally the best way to guide your players. But just some prisoners and general context related things. And then in here was like a bit, the big sort of fight, I guess. Which is... Uh, I don't remember why these things are golden, or at least know why. But maybe it's because of the mode I'm in. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was cool, it was cool. I like that. Now, yeah, it's a good plan. I want to see what's changed and grown from it, I guess. But those are the two main ones that I know that I had is just like, oh, yeah, that was cool. I had, like, a few others, but I think I deleted them. Or if I didn't, they're not there anymore either way. Aw. But this is Tailspot. We can always do something like this on stream at once because it would be pretty fun, but it is a bit limited at one stage. So we're going to call this stream map. Making, yeah, because whenever we want to make maps on stream, we can do this. I have like a bunch of other programs I use for map making, 
because if I want like top-down dungeon -y style ones, I use Dungeon Painter Studio, which we can try at one stage. Otherwise, I use like Asgars for the world maps, and then I use like three other things I can't remember. And then I would go into my own paint tool to add proper lighting and shit. <sighs> no, no, we've got such different timelines. Do not be sorry at all. Just the fact that you're here is uh, really appreciated and means a lot to me. And then the fact that you've gone around and suddenly started like throwing subscriptions at people. Fuck, like you have nothing to be sorry about. You're an absolute gem and I hope you have some good sleep. Take care of yourself. Absolute bean. Um, but what was I thinking? Yes, I guess. Now let's all have a, th a thinky dink. Lift the water. <laughs> My thought, I guess, is okay, there's assets and open library. So, what is something we might want to make? Is my thought, I guess, because we can. Let's just make something fun. Now, there's a bunch of things just as default that we can get. Um, and I don't know how much they've added because it's been a while since I've played. But say if we went to, oh, yes, we can look at the types. There's medieval fantasy, cyberpunk and sci-fi. And that's like it for now because that's just that's still, you know, basic shit. It's still fairly new, but it has a lot for something that's new. Um, I'm thinking. Let's look at nature. I like some of that damn dirt nature. And then we can probably look at something like... Oh, the size of the images? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. So let's do this. Uh, new results found. I don't care. Suck my dick. Um, oh, yes, favorites. I did favorite these. So this is just some basic old basic bit shit. So these is like if you want a big old dick old platform, normal stuff. So even just like a basic sort of encounter, we can effectively be like plonk, 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 plonk. And you can just even just as a basic factor do something like this. I don't know why, but you can. I guess why not is the real, real question. But say if you will like, even before we added other information or details, Oh, yes, and you've got single block pieces in case you want to make, like, little hills and shit like that. Oh! Get off me, you little tit. There we go. Good shit. So, say if we had something like this, just as a rough sort of concept, you could probably then also... Can you rotate pieces? That I don't remember. Almost definitely, but do I remember how to? No, I don't. Is making really nature-based things? Oh, yeah, I love... Well, this is the thing. We're not making a proper world here, so don't worry. This would just be either uh, like a D&D &D encounter or map or just something fun. Um, but, yeah, I love the, the nature style of things as well, so I definitely agree with you there. Now... What are the keys for rotating a piece? Ah, yes. Middle mouse button. Middle mouse pussy. All right. That's actually, that's nice and convenient and easy, which is fucking lovely. Now we could do something like that. We can also... Uh, yeah, let's do that. And we can probably do something like that. Even if it's just like a basic AS thing. We can do something like this. And you can, in theory, go... Eh -eh. Did you ever end up making the world we are working on years ago together on this app? Uh, not a whole world. Fuck. Putting an entire world on this, I have not done. You saw what I've done. I've Effectively, this would be for... Little one-shot encounters where I want layers. Is what I used it for in the past because feel free to come and chat too, all of you. Um, but it was effectively sort of uh, like what you saw there. It was just like, hey, this is an encounter where I want to show the layers and the scale of it because what I loved most about this is because a lot of the times it would be online D and D. There's a lot of the areas where I'd end up having to work on or do things just with whatever. If it's just a single layer of a house or a building 
or a massive thing, you could make, I would use Dungeon Painter Studio because that's more just like your classic sort of grid painting sort of style one. Um, if I wanted to do a world map, I would use Asgars, um, which I can show both of them, but like the world, I think my last stream I showed a bit of Asgars in the art one. Yeah. Where you would effectively, you can make a massive world map there. And there was like a bunch of other things that I would use. Um, ooh, crack, crack. But yeah, effectively it's sort of, this would be more like, hey, what's the wrap on your wrist? Um, it's more just protective because of all, my, my arms always feel like they're, my body always feels like it's burning and covered in ants. And so I don't ever want to have additional injuries and issues. And so when you're using a mouse and keyboard a lot, I don't ever want to get carpal tunnel. <laughs> uh, like immediately after getting like some of my injuries in the baking thing, plus my autoimmune and all that stuff, I ended up with tendon damage in both arms and tennis elbow. And so I thought that if I'm going to be doing art a bit, this would be the best way to make it so there's less damage from it. And so I switch with hands at some occasionally, so you'd be less likely to see when it's on this side. Yeah. But it's it is a new it is I guess a fairly new addition so you're not exactly wrong for thinking that it. it's just accident prone with minor injuries same trust trust me I am very often especially if you're using a mouse and keyboard yeah this is a, I have a new keyboard for a reason I spilt water on the other and key by key it died on stream um but let's let's we can always just think of something cool also we can always just make a map um and use it in like a one-shot sort of thing like that, or any of you that gets Tailspire, we can always use Tailspire and play it. It's a pretty, it was just a $20 one, so it ain't too fancy. It's a nice, just better than an old shitty Microsoft one. But the benefit I like from it is that it's weighted. Um, and it's a little, it's, but I'm getting used to it. It's a little bit more compact. And so I am more prone to pressing other keys at the moment. So that's a negative and a positive, I guess, in its own right. Now, so if we had something basic like that, you know, you've seen Minecraft. <laughs> um, I do like now that you can sort of layer things like, okay, they layer things a little bit differently now, which is nice. Uh, it's funny being accident prone. I get it from my dad, but he's, he's, but this is, oh, he has major injuries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got lucky, <laughs> lucky you. I get my injuries from my mum's side. Uh, well, auto and autoimmune from my mum's side. Um, and then I get like my mental issues from my dad's side. <laughs> Good fun. Um, but let's Scooby Doo. We've had a look at just some basic shit here. Um, eh. Uh, so if we were, say, what do we want? Do we want to maybe some, let's see if we can find some, oh, animal, what animals do they have at the moment? Oh, it's just, oh, this is more like decorative animal stuff at the moment. Yeah. I always love adding the mushrooms. The mushrooms are fun. Yes. Mushy, 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 mushy. It's the worst thing for me. I was working in a warehouse and, ex yeah, yeah, I know. I don't, <laughs> you're a fucking madman. Operating heavy machinery is great when you step off and hurt yourself. You're a fool. <laughs> That's what it is. You're a fool. But yes. <laughs> You've never broken a bone. Your dad's broken his leg while he's at a cast as <laughs> already as a teen. Damn. I've never broken one, but someone else broke my foot. <laughs> first day, first hour of getting to a seven day camp in year seven. We were playing beach soccer before we went to camp. Um and someone kicked the ball who was like in year 10 or 11 and someone kicked the ball and broke my foot instead no one believed me and so i walked around in a broken foot for a, a week <laughs> which was interesting um but that's partially potentially why people didn't believe me because they're like how the fuck is he able to do that <laughs> but for me it's just like i oh, don't you just do <laughs> How do I lower pieces again? Uh, 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the settings. Let's see. How do we do building controls? Uh, oh, H maybe for grid height. H and G maybe. H and G. H and G. H. G. Now, is this where... Oh, yes. This is where I could do something like... Where the fuck is my cursor at? Oh, yes. This is how I did it. I remember. Because I could do this. And then... How do I snap to grid? Sample. Move grid. Mm -mm. I don't remember. It's fine. A lot of this is going to be me briefly being going, how the fuck? Sample, yes. Hmm. Slide is shift. Oh, yes. Yeah. Slide and slide and uh, shift, alt, control, x. Shift, alt, control, x. Hey. Shift, alt, control, x. Shift. Oh. Okay. Control. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. So we could sort of do something like this. We can sort of do that. Because if it was something like that, there we go. Because that's how you can sort of squidge them in. Back to go. So how was the trip to school in the morning? <laughs> oh, gosh. Back in my day, I used to walk. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, slowly getting the hang of this again. It's been a fucking hot minute. Now, if this is where the tree is coming from, I can potentially presume that this is like here. That's a fair assumption. In it. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can probably go and do maybe this one. Do this. And I'm going to slowly make it this way. Yeah, there we go. Because then you can sort of see them coming out of the side of the block here. Uh, looks like a stick, dude. <laughs> a little stick, moon. It is a stick. Stick and D's. Let's do that. And... Instead of mumble rapping, he just barks. <laughs> that's fair. Imagine that. That's a new. That's the new genre. They call it animal rap. I mean, that just sounds like uh, there's a certain creator who turns songs, uh, but takes animal sounds from the internet and then makes sounds based off that. I can't remember exactly what he's called. Um. But if anyone remembers, feel free to let me know. But it is kind of hilarious. You, it's like, it gets old quickly, but it is kind of hilarious where you could sort of listen to this guy and um, and he'll just take, like, you know, like the old, what was the Pomeranian that was, like, really popular? Gabe. Yeah, there's, like, clips, of, like, Gabe's bark and stuff would be, like, I don't know, snares or something like that. Oh, it was both cursed and beautiful. Um, I'm still trying to remember all the keys. Okay, okay. Please. I think I know the guy, but I can't remember that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because my brain immediately is like, Shmo Yo Ho. And I'm like, no, it's not Shmo Yo Ho. I'm very well aware that it's not. Because <laughs> if, like, that, that is just like songifying things, which is completely different. Now, if we've got Tree. Hello, Tree. Ah, this could be good. So let's look around here. We can technically do this and do this. But is there a thicker base we can use? I'm not too sure. I mean, even if we can't, there's no like immediate issue if we can't. We can move some things around, I think. Or, I wonder, can we, if we make a circle, from these circular objects, then it's still a circle. Uh, 
And there we have it. Now, one issue with this is... Oh, that's what she said. Now, one issue with this is you're like, oh, no, the same pattern. Well, then you just rotate the fucking thing, don't you? Now that's free real estate. Hmm. Uh, now if that's like that. And we can also add other assets onto it, which will sort of cover it up a little bit. Eh. So over here, obviously... Let's rotate him a, t a teeny fucking tiny bit. Because that looks a little too... the same. I think that's good enough for the moment before we add other little fucking titty witties. Oh yes, that's technically you're like, oh, that's a tree. Uh, but can we hide it in the tree? Is there a thicker base? Ooh, is there a thicker base or a thicker knob? Is it a mushroom? Is it a mushroom or is it a pin needle? Hmm. Anyone else got any thoughts that they want to test while we're here? Mm, Kiwi and Celine, if you want to join chat and also ramble about your ideas, always keen. Uh, yeah, the other tree logs, that's a great idea. Yeah, my brain was sort of slightly thinking of that and then got just ADHD said, Oh, look, leaves, and got distracted by that. <laughs> but yes, 100%. You are a smart and on the right idea. I wonder, these side logs, these fucking side beans, you can rotate it, but is there a way to free rotate? I can't remember. Oi, fucker, don't know. I don't think so yet. Love leaves? Hell yeah. No, leaves are great. Can't really ever go wrong with leaves. Oh, these look like almost like fungus. What is this? The Last of Us? Make a pot using leaves back in the intermediate. <laughs> yes. I did something similar. Uh, back in like a project and like nearing the end of high school. I can't remember exactly what it uh, what year? One year. One year. Hmm. I like this, but I also like this. So what if I did that? Do, do, do. I guess that. And then we can just add another one like this. But yeah, what we did is we had to do some sculpt clay work. And I wanted to do something like... I love clay work. I love sculpting. But I wanted to do it a little bit differently. So what I did was I made like a head that crumbled at the top. And at the top of the head, I emptied it out. Made sure it was like really safe. And then I found like small rocks, moss, and like little twigs and baby trees and stuff. Effectively like a bonsai. And I put it in the head. Uh, along with a little bit of water and stuff too. To effectively make a miniature sort of biome slash area. And put that on the head. Obviously, the longevity was not as good, but it was just just like that, and then just having like little cracks with like vines coming down it and stuff. And that was really fun. One issue I have with sculpt sculpting and all that sort of stuff: it's expensive. <laughs> and if you're doing something that's reusable, like polymer clay, you got to make sure that you got to work that shit so that it works. You got to work it, bitch. And I'm like, oh my health. <laughs> I don't want to. S spend all my energy doing that. Though, at one stage, I'd, I am tempted to do a, like a sculpting stream. Because, yeah, I would be interested to see how I would set up the camera, but if I could do that. I would have to figure out the money of how much and how. <laughs> but it's not off the table, I guess. we got plant here. Oh, yes, I loved these. Do I remember how to make them? Oh, yes, there's an up one here. Uptown, funky up. Pop making? Yeah. I had to actually use supports while building. Yeah, well, it's like, cylindrical pots are so difficult. Um, I think there's this video. It's always the same video, always the same guy, because I can't find one that just hits that same itch. 
but I love this uh, this video of this professional like teapot maker and he just it's on YouTube and he just like slowly just and methodically just almost like perfectly makes this tree pot and it's just like oh my gosh mm -hmm. it's just so nice Okay, so you, you can see how you can spend hours just making one fucking tree. <laughs> you can go from doing nothing to like, oh, yes, just so you know, you're doing this for hours now. The hang uh, the hang ones are tough because one side flat and the other side rounded. Yeah, yeah, and then thus it doesn't have the right. You got to get almost like a bit of physics involved because you got to make sure it's weighted properly, and then you got to adjust for how it would be weighted once it's actually, um, I guess when it hardens, whether it be a baked clay or a just air harden or whatever clay. I don't li I never liked those rocks and honestly uh, if I use them, I don't think I think they merge too much with the colors. I want I like the contrasty colors. So if we went for something like this, it's still sort of Oh, what about this one? Oh, that's a fucking thick dick rock. Calm down, game. That's a big chongus. Oh, that for some reason that just reminded me of those TikToks I love where it's someone just being like a fruit and being like, oh yeah, that's a big fruit or something like that. And then it's just some guy who looks sad and he's like, what? that's big? Um, I thought, uh, uh, no, they're just like, oh, this is a small fruit. And then the guy's just like, oh, that, that's small. I, I think it's pretty big actually. And, and they just look so broken down and it's just so good. Um, cave rock, show me. Bosses didn't just send me a friend request on Facebook. Uh-oh, it's a trap. Do not do it. They're working for Zuck. They're working for Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckdees. Whee! Oh, that was fun. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. What was the key again? Alt. Thank you, game. Lizard people? Mm-hmm. Mark Fuckerberg? Is that Mark Iceberg? Is that Starch fucking art? Uh, 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 uh. Wait, where the fuck did that go? Thank you. Lift and rise. They just like fucking droppings. I mean, it's good for pathing, I guess. I guess. Now, I remember there was a way to make multiple and i think they've just incorporated it into just the average sort of designing process i guess but what i might do is i might let's try this yeah i don't remember the key that was used to sort of drop multiple at once. There was like a thing where you'd be like, aha! It was like a paint a paint tool. There's a key there somewhere. I won't remember it. You need a haircut too? Same. Oh, see you, Kiwi. Take care, man. Uh, pop by whenever if you want. Uh, if you've got D&D, hope that goes well. But love ya, and have a good one. <laughs> yes, past your hips. Mad respect. That takes so long to grow out that long, though. I, I wish my hair didn't, like, cowlick at the back. Because I did want to, at one stage, see if I could pull off a, like, a Viking, like, sort of full-on hair with, like, proper braided and stuff. Because I love that sort of, like, braided look. Um, It's really cool. But then I look, I, I look at how long that's going to take, and I'm like, that's a long time to risk something that might not work. <laughs> um, Yeah, it does make things, like, maybe, but maybe not. I do like that you can sort of sync objects in, because that makes it a lot easier to, say, do something like this. Um, where it would be, like... Because, uh, like, generally, there's, like, if there's, like, cliff faces and stuff like that. Um, you used to always cut it to shoulder length, though. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. A lot easier to look after, a lot of less dead ends, things like that. I get that. 
That's the dirt. Aren't I already using dirt? Um, how do I? Ruler, cut box. Water build. Oh, yes. Let's lift the water up so we can see what it's like. So, if we had some water, there's that. Um, I don't remember how to change the daytime. But there is a way to change what time it is. A bit like how that other map was daytime or night time. That's probably in the cutscene mode, isn't it? It always would be, wouldn't it? Bed. Bed. Why would we want a bed? Oh, it's like, I think they mean the word nest. But maybe there'll be a lot of other, like, animal nests and stuff. Oh, it may not need to be a bed, but it could effectively be just, like, some very nice assisting circle in some ways. Because you can... I think about this. Oh, yeah. You could use it almost like a little ringy-dingy doodah. I get that. I get that. I feel that. Um, -na 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 -na. I don't want a fucking Christmas tree. Get off it. Oh, damn. Big fucking log. Big, big fucking log. Big fucking log. Mm, not feeling that one. I'm going to be honest. Loom, boom, boom, boom. There's fucking shit tree. This looks like a fucking poop. Uh, let's say we went back to maybe this thing. Oh, that plateau's too fucking chungusy though. I'm not here to make a chungy plateau. Or plateau. It's up to you. We could though. Let's, try, let's just make one over here for the sake of... I'm relearning this and it's fun. <gasps> oh, wee! Well, knowing they've carved here, it would be unlikely for the plateau -y piece, I guess, to, well, sit in a spot that interrupts with the farming. The grass makes sense because it's overgrown. But they would have had to carve the rock here and thus there's almost no reason why they would not have this around here probably can you shrink slash grow things i wish i think if i can i don't know how and that would be a new feature this is very early access and i think one of the that's one of the things that probably is a good idea and uh to have but i don't think they have it yet in that sense and so there's just slightly different assets and stuff you could probably mod it and add your own assets once they have like if they have like a workshop tool um but the closest you can get is, like, how you layer things, I think, at this point. I want to make sure this lines up properly. Because, there's like, if you line it up in a weird way, it just looks like you've blended it. But if you line it up in the right way, it feels more natural. There we go. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Because it's like, where is the flow of the rock going? Because... If you think about it, rocks are carved in a certain way based on wind and water, generally. So this looks like it would have been flowing this way for some... Some unknown reason. Uh, also, in Australia, we don't have these types of rock formations as often. Or at least in this colour and style. This seems more Grand Canyon-esque. I mean, if we were using this into a map, in theory... Because i got to think, uh, like, hummst and hummst. Boom. And I guess it's a, a bit like a lot of things where... Like in Minecraft, you can use things that aren't that normal objects to imitate another object based on how you sort of place it. Hmm. 
Reminds me of the movie Spirit Stallion uh, of the Cimarron setting. Oh, okay, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to have a I'll have to have a look at what you mean. Also, not having a goal for an environment is both freeing and difficult because I'm going into this without a particular, here's this thing I'm trying to design planned. And so it is a bit more like, okay, it's, it feels more sandbox trial and error rather than here making a distinct map, at least at this stage. Do, 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 do. Uh, if I did something like this, because then you would have to design it. Once it's an actual map, you'd want to design it. Okay, where uh, is it a clear area you could move the players? <laughs> like that in Minecraft? Yeah, yeah. Well, for me, like, it's either I'm just randomly doing something or I have a big goal, like a massive sort of thing, and then ADHD gets bored of it unless I've got someone else to work with it. Um, I haven't, I haven't done any Minecraft in ages. I've still been hooked on the old Terraria grind. Which, if you ever want to do Terraria together, let me know. I'm a massive Terraria simp. I vibe for that shit. Those devs are fucking... Then I love it. It's like, I love one of my review, the One of the reviews slash comments on Terraria, which is, don't trust when they say this will be the final update. Because they just always love, like, adding more stuff. There's going to be, a, like... Late, there's going to be next year, they're going to have a Dead Cells crossover thing. So it's going to even add more stuff. Even though for ages they've, like, the main actual updates finished. It's just been a lot of, like, fun little crossover bits, community things added. It's been real cute. I like it. Now, I'm curious. It's like, do we want crystals to be naturally growing from this environment? Or would that be. We could lead this into a cave potentially. Ooh, cave time. Hold on. Ideas galore. Damn, am I a whore? <laughs> Ideas. What, what's this fucking thing called? I don't know. Poo. Hello, Seraphic. It's been so long. How you been? What have you been up to? Cave would be cool. Yeah, I'm thinking we could add like a cave here or something. That would be pretty fucking funky. But I do need to think of... Before we add other things, hey -ya! we got to go to the basic bitches. And we'd go to flooring, but we need to find, because we're looking for what would be considered cave. Cave! Where the fuck is the cave? Hey, where's the fuck is the cave? Tired and fried? Yeah. How's work been treating you? You going all right? It's good to hear from you again. If you want to vibe and do stuff, feel free. Uh, at the moment, I hadn't streamed in for ages because I've just been a, a dead egg. My health's just been rough. But it's good to be back. Good to hear from you all and it's good to know you're doing well. Now, if we're leading into a cave, one thing we probably want to know is tiles. Been okay, just haven't been sleeping well. Some more wor uh, work wore you down. Oh, I totally get that. Make sure you look after yourself, all right? So I can... Don't get yourself killed for work. Oh, yes, because these are pieces they would need to snap. So for now, we'll just temporarily use these. We can add other things. But it at least helps the game know, I guess. Helps the game know sort of your plan in that sense. Ah, oh, yeah, it's still one th issue is obviously to make sure that the tiles move and stuff. Is things that are considered these block tiles they need to sync up in, a, in that sort of way, because that way the tile, like the pieces actually move on it. Which is annoying, so you've got to use things, unconventional things, to sort of convince the game otherwise. Mm. 
So if we went like this, um, let's just have a look at how we could cave this fucker. Because obviously there's the plateau pieces, so we've got to be wary of that. Because naturally, how would this go from not cave to cave, I guess? You can only promise to try. <laughs> well, that's better than not trying. I'll give you that. Trust me, as someone who is now chronically unable to do work because they overworked. It ain't, it ain't entirely worth it. <laughs> But obviously other things kicked up too, so it wasn't just overwork. But you know what I mean. So this one I sorta of gotta can I sink this? Almost. Ha ah. I could sorta of do this and that. Could do this. I could do that, maybe. Uh, what about this corner fuck? Corner fuck? Fuck of the corners? Hmm, maybe. Hmm. I'm not too sure about this being here. It doesn't fit right. You know? I don't know. Like, I could do this. Could do that. I think that fits better there. Yeah. And I can't remember how to free rotate things. It's been so long. My try streaming Dragon Ball Breakers. Yeah, do it. Suck at it, but it's fun. That's the main thing. As long as you're having fun, um, people enjoy that. Yeah, just enjoy yourself. That's awesome. Give that a go. Do it. Is it B? B T. How the fuck do I bring this up again? Boom, ba ba boom, 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 boom. Space. Ah, space. Oh, lovely. Now, these are all corner pieces, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is a different style of corner. Makes sense. I think this will work better with what I'm trying to do. So if I did this, how would this look? Because I need to look at how this would look from here. Because I like this. And thus it goes there. <laughs> I like, I like this. Because we need to make sure that the cave feels natural in the progression of the style of rock. Because it's two different types of rocks. You know what I mean? It's some rocky shit. Um... A few moments later. Did you hear it? If you heard it, that's good. If you if uh, you didn't, then that's weird. Because <laughs> sand alert sometimes is weird. Um, and I don't know why it occasionally does that, but it does. Um, 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 boom, boom. But yes, let me know if you didn't hear the a few moments later. You didn't, and that's sad. I will, I'll do it for you in a second. Once I figure out why in the fuck it isn't working. Stream elements, what the fuck are you thinking? Stream stickers, panda. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing there? What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? What the fuck, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck, what the fuck? What the fuck, what the fuck? Love my st I have my streams uh, alerts up super gently, TBH. Well, mine works 90% of the time. It's just that, like, 1% to 2% of the time where it suddenly doesn't. And it's like, why did that not work? Maybe my suspicion is... Give me one second. Properties? Now... Advanced audio properties. I want to see what it's con presuming is the new test. Because I want to see maybe. 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 
La la na 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 na. Uh, let's go 100. Maybe it was too low. We're going to do that. Because uh, I find either I hear it or they hear it instead of both. Well, normally I can get it both. Got them in two different inputs. So I can call the sound for me and stream. Well, I've, I've got that as well. Um, and I made, I found a fix. I have the fix here. And it has no longer done the fix thing. <laughs> so that's mainly why I'm like, hmm, but why? But why, hmm? You tell me. Hmm? Doo -doo -doo. Properties nuts. Because normally you use the browser source input and change it to um, being a good old thick thicken. If you know what I mean. <laughs> you make it a good old thick thicken. The thicker the thicken, the thicker it is. Um, It's weird, it's weird. It's not the end of the world, but it is weird. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. Or maybe it's because it maybe it comes up on desktop. Let's give that a whirl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it. And maybe the audio place from Ear Trumpet moved it to desktop instead of the OBS browser source. I don't know. It is one of these things with streaming that it's like not. It's one of those untold things where it's like figure it out and go on. A few, a few moments, moments later. later. Yes! Alright, I got it working. I got it working. I got it working, everyone! Oh, I got it working! Uh, get, uh, it's a game uh, desktop slash sound alerts. Easy. So, if, uh, during one of the times where I had to reset all my audio things, it's been moved to my desktop sound thing. So it's gone effectively moved to my default sound. Uh, so now I'll make sure that that isn't off if I want sound deluxe to work. I know, crazy. There we go. There we, there we, there we go. There we go. That is sound alerts a while back. Never set it up, and I completely forgot how to access and edit it. Um, okay, yeah, so what you would do when it comes to access and editing sound alerts itself. Um, this is from memory. Normally, I to explain things, I use something called a visual guide. <laughs> so, but without a visual guide, what I remember is that you effectively go to your... Effectively, there's a spot in Twitch where it's like your your extensions, I think, or whatever it is. And within that, you go from extensions to... Yeah, you go from uh, that to extensions. I don't remember. Yeah, edit through. Well, you go to extensions, and then it takes you to its pop-up website thing. Um, and yes, then you edit what you want in the ed website. And then once you've sort of gotten what you want from the website, you can sort of... Yeah, once you've gotten what you want from the website, then it sort of will automatically come in. And in there, there's a tab where it's like, you can have like one or two things that are just channel point based. You can't have many, which I wish you could. Like, I wish you could be like, hey, all of these are sound alerts, but if you don't have channel points, you can just... Like, I, I, I don't I want people to pay to enjoy my stream. <laughs> I want people to be able to just enjoy it and have a fun time like I am. Uh, but, you know, reality says that ain't always going to work. And reality also says, hey, you want me to have better stuff? I'm going to have to be able to pay for meds. But... That's just like... I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. But I am also a dumb egg. Hmm. You can also use them without points. Yeah. It's like bits or channel points, but you can make the bit ones free. So I've got a few free ones there. 
And then I'll edit them. I'll, I'll slowly edit them like my channel redeems for a while. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And that's why I was able to jump scare you. And I came in, saw you were streaming, jump scared you with the channel point thing and then left. Um, I do greatly remember that. It was fun. But yeah, it's one of those things where I can effectively just... Yeah, yeah. I, I will slowly adjust what I... I guess I will slowly adjust what I have available based on how much people use it. I'm like, hey, if a channel point thing is never used, is that price or is that not? Then I'll lower the price of it. If I find out the pro it's just simply the price and I keep it at a lower price, if it's not the price of it, channel point or whatever wise, then I'm like, okay, cool. Then that means probably um, they just don't care for that alert and then I'll switch alerts. It's just a, I don't know, just a chunk of progress and I like that. I love always tinkering, always figuring things out like that. And any chance I get, I like any time I get the chance to do that, I always love. I don't know, that's just part of my enjoyment. Oh, <laughs> not now. I don't know. I mean, is there a game both of you have? Because if you want to do anything as well, I'm down to vibe, whatever. I'm having a fun time. I'm just happy that I can get back to streaming. Because I missed everyone. <laughs> yeah, and I was, uh, Selena, I also remember your grumpy friend you were playing Portal with, and that was funny. He grumpy. I've asked a bunch of random ones, to, uh, just got a bunch of random ones, CBH. You can thank my friend Wolfie for that. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I just sort of went through and went, what are these? I just listened to a bunch of them and went, which ones do I think sound funny? <laughs> and I grabbed them, and then it was like, hey, you have a limited amount that you can get, slash use. I'm like, oh, <laughs> And then I just stopped there, and I'm like, okay, I'll change them up once I figure out if, like, some work and some don't. You know, you know how it is. Um. But yes. Anyone got any funky ideas for this map? Ah, ah, ah. No. Slash... I'm sorry, I misclicked. I misclicked. <laughs> no, I misclicked. Sorry. Uh, is there a limited amount of sound alerts? Yes, so there's a limit amount that you can have for sound alerts, and then there's an exclusive smaller amount that um, are, I guess, channel points. I think it's like three to five channel point ones. I can't remember. And yeah, I think it's like 30 uh, non-channel points and then like a, like three channel point ones. It might increase based on like, hey, if you're a partner instead of an affiliate, you might get more. I don't know. It's not something I've entirely paid too much attention to. Because I'm like, cool, a hyper-focus, my ADHD was like, cool, yeah, yeah hyper-focus, did that once. And then once you, you know, you both know what it's like with ADHD. The second your brain stops doing something, you know that it's over. Because <laughs> the ADHD brain's like, uh-uh, bitch. Uh-uh. You ain't going back to that ever. Does the stream... Uh, does the SA South Africa? <laughs> I might be dumb, but what do you mean by SA? Sorry. I might be dumb. I am dumb. But, <laughs> regardless of whether I'm dumb or not, sound alert. Oh, does the sound alert uh, tab automatically appear in stream window? Uh, you mean for a viewer or for the streamer? Um, because if you mean for when you're like actually trying to get the stream alerts to work for people, um, then oh yeah, fucker. Yeah, if you're talking about, I still think I have ADHD or something. Oh yeah, it's highly likely. I've had enough chats with you to have a, at least a rough idea. <laughs> like when you put your cursor over the stream and those tabs pop up. Um, it depends, because you can choose whether something's a panel, a component, or a extension. And you have a very limited amount of spots. Like if you look here, ah, whoa, right. where I'm pointing roughly, if you hover over, that's, I think, where the heart is. And the jackpot, there's hearts, there's like three things, I think, there. And those are your extensions, and they're the ones you can hover over stream, 
click it, and then it pops up. You only have a limited amount, which kind of sucks. Uh, then anything else you don't have there, you scroll down into stream, and then that's where you put it as a panel slash component. Um, and yeah, the limited amount of things is a bit annoying. The heart and sound alert pop up. Yeah, yeah. And there's a third one that I've got deactivated until I've got it like working because I want the component unlock one done. But I, there was a, there was something that was stopping me from immediately doing it. And I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I'll figure it out one day. So obviously shitty cavern entrance at the moment, but this is just the walkable tiles. Uh, I guess is the best way to describe it. Because these are the things that you would see when that also have an impact on the general sort of like where people can stand and stuff like that, I guess. I'm going to do this because that'll cover that up a bit better. It looks a bit jank, so no. <laughs> but where were we? Oh, yes. I'm thinking I need a better cornery piece. Yes. Yes. Hmm. That could work. No, but that removes the entrance. That does not work as well as I would have liked. Hmm. Harry Potter. Hmm. Come back to bed. Uh, oh, that's nice. There we go. Ish. Uh, but yes, any of these like more detailed bits we can worry about in a bit. Yeah. Good. So there we go. That's good enough for now. So what we can do is we can go from the building stuff. And you'll be back in a bit. Got to sort out some stuff. Yeah, all good, all good. Um, thanks for popping by. And I uh, look forward to seeing you pop back in a bit, though. Um, but where were we? Say if we grabbed, I don't know, fucking thickest dickest for a tree root. <laughs> Potentially. Because it could be like a... Oh, here's a cave because it has a, some fucking rooty boys. I don't know. I don't like how thickest dickest it looks. <laughs> thickest dickest, chongus, bongus. Whip out your enormous dongus. Don't do that. Hmm. Doesn't fit the vibe I'm looking for. Let's go to rocks first, maybe. Let's go to the rocks. Because remember, we also have a plateau. So these ones, because they're not the building pieces, you can um, merge them into pieces a lot better. And this is where the real art can go in. Oi, space, motherfucker. Because this is when you can 360, this is when you can no scope. <laughs> Boom. What the fuck is this rock? Okay, so this is the poo poo rock, I'll call it. I don't know why you'd ever use this rock. Uh, oh, it could work as like little, little rubbly bits, I guess. I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> Gotta admit, not a big fan of this rock. This rock can suck a cock. Nah, denied, bitch. Okay. Da -da 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 -da
It is good to be back. Oh, Seraphic. Is there any games you'd ever want to play or vibe with? Do you enjoy Terraria? Because <laughs> I love Terraria. That shit's fucking fun. That shit's fun as fuck. And D&D. &D. Do you enjoy D&D? &D? Terraria's fun? Fuck yeah. Because I want to do like a... I've got my main Mask Mode playthrough I'm doing. Obviously. Um, but... I, I would be interested to see if there's a bunch of people who'd want to do like a combined sort of playthrough at one stage. Like a proper one that's like, yeah, we're definitely doing this sort of thing. Never played D&D &D before, but wanna? Hell yeah. Well, then we can do that one stage. Because what I do want to do at the very least at one stage is I want to do a effectively PNG uh, or just like a bunch of sort of either like a bunch of sort of friends and stuff. Um... Just doing like a nice little either D&D one shot, and I'm trying to think of when and what and stuff. Uh, so if it's something you two would be keen in, then we can always do that. And then I think we'd probably have enough people. Um, like they've been playing the new uh, COD and Breakers. Oh yeah, how's that been going? You think it's worth it? Uh, there's so much green. I like the contrast of the blue. Now, these sort of rocks... I don't know. I'm not feeling it, you know what I mean? We're gonna go from here to... No. Get out of here. Uh, let's go to... Cavern and Roots. Let's go to Cavern and Roots. So if this is like this, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I keep pressing Windows instead of uh, pressing the Alt button, which is what you use to like free rotate something. And it's <laughs> and so I keep fucking misclicking and just killing myself, unaliving myself, Twitch. You know what I mean? Oh, that could be nice there. All right. Because I always love that overgrown sort of nature look in a cave. Obviously, it doesn't always work. But it is one of those things I enjoy a fucking shit ton. Hey, grid down. Bad down. Bad grid. Grid bad. There we go. Now, we obviously will have stalactites, stalagmites, big penisy boys, I mean, uh, <laughs> big AOs. <laughs> But no one says that you have to use something as it's normally used. Because in theory, you're like, well, these are stalagmites. But what if I did this? Now, they look like just fucking little th thorn, like a little hidden thorn trap or something. Like, I love that. There's like so much customizability. And for something that's early access, mm, it makes me happy. What's the style of D&D would you want to play in that sense? So if you wanted to play something like that... Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. So I've got to figure out a day that everyone that is keen would still be keen.
<sighs> Which are you preferring more, breakers or cod? Would you say? I'm sorry, I just get fucking hyper focused with the epic music and the map making. And you can just sort of vibe on this for a long time. Depends. Oh, okay, yeah, it's more just like a switch between your moods, I guess. Depends what you're feeling, sort of thing. I don't care at all. Snow, ocean, animal. There we go. So, what if we had a fucking. Good old bit of a dead end there. It's a bit of an indicator something lives in a cave because you wouldn't have a dead animal piece uh, in a cave that has nothing in it. Unless it's like a fossil. So if we did this, that's a good hint to, if I use this map and for a player sort of thing, it's a good sort of nod to, hey, there's something in this cave. Just a subtle thing. Obviously, you would presume, if you're thinking meta, You'd be like, hey, we're not going to go into a cave and have nothing in it, as a general, general. I'll put that there. We'll have a look at it later when we turn it off. So I have the stand alerts pop up in my stream window. Do I set it as a component? Uh, extension, I think. Um, it's one of the ones where you have a very limited number. So, like, what I've got, uh, I would say then it's... I'm 90% sure it's extension. Because it wouldn't be panel. And then you can always change it, so if it doesn't work as an extension thing. Because Sand Alerts has a bit where you can test to see if you can hear it and if you can see it. So that could be one thing that'll help. The fuck is this? Oh, it's just a crow. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck sort of mushroom is that? Groups of three are always yummy. Hmm. Why do we even want this? I could probably just put it with this one. But then I have to add a third one because the eye likes groups of three, even if they're slightly different. Because it's. Uh, no, it has to be at least slightly within the same color type. Hmm. Nope, alright. Random pile of mushrooms, it is. Okay, so we got a few mushies there. Just to get some rough stuff started. There's a lot of work we need to do there. If we ever want to. Because this is just like just some chill fun on stream. Um, hmm. Yeah, and I, I totally get it. It's like I don't like um, competitive angriness as, as well. So that's why I tend to avoid that sort of stuff as a majority. Uh, or at least for a majority of things, I guess. Do 
Hmm. Now, if we have a look, we can probably. This is some fucking thick ass rock. By itself, I don't like it, but I wouldn't use it by itself either. Because you can sort of use it as, like, I guess just some slight hints towards moss. Still not the biggest fan, but it's better than just having it flat like that. You can sort of do that. Adds a little bit more texture, but I'm not too sure. Also, turn to voice chat and COD because I get really tired of hearing kids in game. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It, that would get very draining very quickly. Because it's just, like, obnoxious for the most part. Very rarely would that be uh, a fun environment. Now, we don't want these sinking into the rocks in the same way, just due to the fact that there's no reason they would. <laughs> and we also probably want to keep them on the plant area. Because they're not going to just grow directly through a really strong rock like this. Is, people bring too much competitive salt into quick away matches. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially for something like when it's quick, like a quick match or something like that. The amount of salt that people can bring is just... <laughs> it's just incredible the amount of like salt people can have built up but i guess people are just using it to sort of vent and i don't know just some unhealthy way to get rid of pent-up aggression from whatever is happening in their life i don't know but yeah it's definitely no fun when it's like that's all that that seems to happen or like that's all that they do it's like just have some fun it's a game and understand other people there to have some fun too. Letting people get salt. I think people get salty because they sort of they envisage themselves being like wanting to be really good, and then they, and then they sort of want to vent and believe it's like someone else's fault. It's just like it's just some unhealthy venting coping mechanism, I guess. Mm. <laughs> I ain't a, I ain't a psych disclaimer, but that's just my observation. Now, the inside, if it's got mushrooms, is clearly going to also have some form of life in here. That is a little bit... It's not just like a dead, cold cave. Especially when you've got the root system going down here. But it is interesting to be like, okay, how do we want to use these? Because I don't fucking know. I think it being four is, like, not the best. Like, other people would be able to use it better than me. I'm still trying to remember how the fuck I do this. <laughs> I guess you could l squish it into a wall. Give it a good old squish. Give it a good old fucking squish, eh? <laughs> uh, na, 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 doom, 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 boom. Ooh, that one looked nice there. So I want to make sure this feels a little bit more natural at least. There we go. Because it's starting to feel less like here's some tiles you placed for the D&D &D characters and more like here's an environment that your D&D &D characters are in. There's a, uh, I guess. I don't know. You got any thoughts or additions you would like to see? Twitch be giving me the spinny wheel of death when I try and set sound alerts as a panel slash component. <laughs> Rip. I honestly don't know exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of weird things like that, and it's like, huh? <sighs> what the fuck are these? Slap me with a sticker! <laughs> no, not favorite. Just pick the faker up. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, 
that could be nice there. Because I want to make the cave entrance like more gradual. But also more real. And I'm not looking at any reference, so it probably doesn't help. Because if I looked at a reference, you could be like, oh, this is how a cave sort of opening would look. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm too lazy for that. I want to just create. What the fuck is this? Oh, okay. Toothpicks. <laughs> oh, I love these. I love these overhanging bits. They're like one of my favorite pieces. Because it's really easy to slide them under in a way that feels natural. The ones on the ground, it's hard to make them feel as natural. At least in my shit at doing this profession. <laughs> profession? Opinion. Um, I don't know. Mm. Hmm. Anyone got any funky thoughts? Oh, music, calm down. Unless. Rocky, rocky docky do. Now, is there a way I can use these aside from just, you know, little pathing titty witties? Because what we can do, we can sort of, I mean, we can sort of use these to blend shit in, so it's not as tiley. It's not entirely a tile. Oh, -ho. yes, I'm stupid. Don't worry about me. Ah, so this sort of came in around here. <laughs> uh. Obviously, we got to make this on a a little more realistic. What's the best way to do that? We can probably... Not a big fan of these rocks. Or maybe they work here amongst the orange ones. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what is the best way to solve this conundrum? It's okay if things sort of curl over like that, but I do think that it is a little unrealistic, I, ha I guess. Oh, 
There we go, we got some soil in here. That's more like what we would have at the beginning of the cave. Because it would still be a bit soily. Don't be soiled yourselves. And because there is, is some soil, I can probably get some more El Cristales. That might be a good thing that'll fill these gaps, because this feels a little bit weird here. I don't entirely know why. And so what if the reason is there's just another element missing? Maybe. Maybe. That is my answer for now. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, we have a look here. We can probably do that. Oh yeah. Doesn't look horrid. Any ideas or thoughts people have that are like, Oh yes, if you do this, it'll make it look lovely. I am intrigued. What up? Who new phone? Who this? <laughs> There you go. On. We're making a bit of a cave now, as you can see. The same map you were working on before? Yep. As you can see here, this is sort of what we've done so far. La, la, la. Looking good? Uh, yeah, it's alright. I'm just trying to figure out. So we did start at a bit of a tree. Obviously it needs a lot more work. I'm not as happy with it yet. Just some basic Minecrafty blocks there. And then I sort of started doing some bits here and decided what if we turned it into a bit of a cave. Now I'm trying to figure out how to merge this with this, the darker cave rock, and make it feel more natural rather than just, here's one rock and here's another. I'm on build mode. I want to remember how I changed the day night time. That's something I can't remember. There's obviously there's the creatures and they've added more creatures, which is good. So say if we got For the sake of an example, say we got a gnome. A gnome. Then I think if I did this, teleport, elevate, up, rotate. Oh yes, we can right click it to change things like stats, emotes, status, enable torch, what? Disable torch, Ta status, knock down. Oh, yeah. oh, they've got status now, that's cool. They didn't have that before. Enable torch, hide, GM tools, enable flying, morphs. GM tools, make unique, set size, base color, player permission, yes. Test. 
Now, say if I switch to player, we could see that this person is here. Woo! Ah, yes. And then you could sort of come along like this. Because each square is two by... Each of these is two by two. Each of these is one by one. You can see you can go up. You can go down. I guess it'll be good to know where people can go. Can they get into this cave easily? It looks like they can. There's a bit to fill in there. But you could effectively... You could get in here. And... Yeah, you'd be able to walk through the cave fairly easily from the looks of it. That's good, that's good. Now, if we went to the GM... Oh, yes, we got all this stuff. Uh, tutorials. I don't care. Campaign and board settings. Stat names. Dick. Sound alert refuses to activate for you. Um, I guess... Um, Let me have a, a quick geezo. So, your issue is... Um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go quickly to my Twitch. Let me just mute the tab. And then we're gonna go to Twitch. I'm gonna see if I can look what I've done so I can let you know, so I can help you out. Um, but if people want to do anything, we can and vibing. But I'm happy to keep doing this if people are happy with this as well. I can also open up some of my other map making tools if we're curious. Leaderboard set as panel by... Get a spinning wheel of death when I try to activate it. Um, are you on... You're on Windows, yeah? I hope so. If you're not on Windows, sorry for you. Now, I might do... Ah! Harry Potter! Did you put your balls... Give me a second. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mine to try and figure it out. I'll help you out, don't worry. It'll just take a second to load because I've got a bunch of other stuff loaded up. How'd your little trip go, Kiwi? How'd that go for you? What a vibe. Uh, it said it's uh, thingy thing, but the only thing, uh, the evil infinity wheel. You might need a screenshot to show me because I don't know what you're talking about innately. Um, because I don't think that's happened to me, so that's weird. Um, so, if you send to me on Discord what's happening, at one stage I can have a look at it for you and try and help you out. But on a base level, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, all I can think of is I have my thing, my extensions. So, I have, yeah, I've got uh, Sound Alerts as Component 1. So, I've got it as a component. I've got it as Component 1, and then I click the cog, and once I click the cog, I, I'm i sort of like, cool, you configure it, and you open up the dashboard. Oh, my necketh. Yeah, but that's all I can think of off the top of my brain. So, um, back to this. Uh, Santa screenshot. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, Kiwi's popping in. Uh, give me one second. Kiwi. Oh, you fool. You should know, Kiwi, that this is the room that you can just hop in without needing to wait for. <laughs> but yeah, give me a minute. That's interesting. So to me, that could... that To me, that feels like there's some weird... Try a different browser, or try logging in and logging out, or try... So browser, logging in, logging out, or see if you've got any extensions or plugins or ad blocks that might be interfering with it. Because to me, that feels like either an internet issue or some weird browser issue. You could try clearing the cache on your browser for any cookies and stuff, potentially. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, but let me quickly... I'll grab Kiwi, because he's popping by. 
and then I will Anna oh, no, Lemuel. Uh, it might just be Firefox. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big Firefox fan, but I mean it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. But yeah, try a few things and let me know if that works. Hi Kiwi, how you going? Vertical fog. Atmospheric fog. Yes, please. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we get some atmospheric fog. Ooh. Oh, there we go. That's what you like to see. If you want fog, you've got oh, fog. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, how you going? Good. Just uh, mute the stream real quick, so I'm not hearing three of you. <laughs> Fresh cups today. Yeah, how's that going? You happy yeah. with your cut? Yeah, boy. Fuck yeah. Bloody, my barber's a fucking good cunt too. Absolute legend. Yeah, bro. Full of bands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Enjoy getting my haircut there. Yeah. Oh, so no, I remember right it next door to where I live as well. It's pretty easy. Yeah, okay. Just stay off and just cut. step out the door and there we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me just see. Audio, mutant, silence. Uh, day cycle. Oh, yeah, I can change when in the day it is so you can change things like the angle and shit. There we go. That now I remember how to do that. That's gonna be very useful. What about changing light around in that. Or changing what day it is, yeah. Or like when in the day it is. Right. Because someone could get here later, and you're like, okay, I'm. They're here at dawn, dusk, all that sort of shit. And then you choose sort of where the sun is. Like that spot for the sun. Fog multiplier, fogging, fogging hell. It's been the fogging. The fogging. Ah. Oh yes, and then we can do some good old extra effects on top of it. What if we did? There's bleach. There's greens. There's the isolated red warm. Yeah, okay, so if we went for greens, flick it over to Microsoft Edge. Oh, don't even touch that. Yeah, <laughs> and it worked. Firefox has just been difficult. Yeah, so I would recommend just resetting or updating Firefox and then coming back to it to see if that helps because Microsoft Edge is cursed. <laughs> I wouldn't use that unless you're forced to. All right, so now we've got a bit more of a lighting thing, and then you can sort of be like, when in the day am I coming? Come. Come? Come. What? Come. Hi, puppy. Hey, puppy. Come. Yeah, so then, because I wanted to test how... Um how it would look in the night to see how much lighting I would need. Okay, okay. Not too bad. Obviously, I need to add a lot more actual details to the blocks, but you can do combat and stuff in this, which is pretty cool. And you've got like, okay, I'm rolling, and sort of you can... Let's say if I wanted to roll five dice, I can do... There you go, you rolled five dice. I can do this, ready? And there you go. So you get the dice on table in case you don't have other dice but want to roll them. Which I think is really cool. There we go. So say if you're like, oh, okay, I need to roll fucking roll for perception, you can be like, okay, cool. And then I think memory the DM can do the DM lighting, so you can be like, oh. They're like, what are you talking about? And then, so if you need a gesture as the DM to something, you can be like, just fucking look here, you boobs. Uh, see the fucking tree. Um, 
close. Oh, I rolled a 20. Fuck it. Oh, oh bollocks. I just bought him. And obviously you got monsters and all that shit. All that jam. The map looks neat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's bare bones stuff at the moment. But, I mean, it's getting there in concept. I think we'll do some more, like, tile pieces just so we have a rough idea. Because I'm really just, like, trying to relearn it at the same time as just seeing what's there. Because you've got a lot of things. And you've got, it doesn't have to be, um... It doesn't have to be D&D either. They've got cyberpunk themed, which is pretty cool. Oh, welcome back and stretch. Ah! Whoa. And stretch. <laughs> so this is Tailspire, um, and you can play. Like, I could, if you got Tailspire and we wanted to do a one shot on Tailspire, all I literally have to do is go over here and I would do cool. And then I can go, where is it, players, create, generate invite code, and you can actually just play with players. So it is designed, the idea of it is to be able to make like a modular ga online game experience that you can make your own maps and then play the game on it. Uh, but it's very early access. It, either, it came out this year, this year. But yeah, so it's, it's pretty good. I'm liking it so far. And I like that so far they've got... I guess two main themes, which is uh, cyberpunk slash sci-fi and medieval fantasy. And they're still adding a lot more, so you know that they've got more and more. How much is it? You'd have to look, because they can t with early access games that are actually updating and not the, we're in early access, and then they never touch it. <laughs> you know what I mean. When it's actually early access and um, they're adding stuff, obviously the prices of the game increases, because... The more stuff there is, the more stuff that can be, you know, bunk. But at the moment, I don't know, I'm going to presume around the 25 AU, so maybe the 17 US, maybe, I don't know. Give it a geese. It's fairly new and early. Because um, originally, I think it may have been a Kickstarter originally, but I didn't, I, I missed the Kickstarter because I didn't have money at the time. Um, so... Is there something we want to do with the map? I think is a fun thing. Otherwise, we can go in. Oh, there's mine truck things. Oh my gosh, Minecraft. <laughs> On Steam, it's about 25 US dollars. Okay, I was close. I knew it was 25 for one of us, and then it would have been more for the rest of us. So it has increased in price a tiny bit. But to be fair, that is fair. Because literally, if all of us had it, we could just play a game of this. I don't know what the lag's like. Normally, I would just share this on for if I'm playing online with friends. I would just share this on Discord as one of the maps. So that people didn't have to buy it. Um, but if any, if everyone suddenly, if a lot of the players had it, then I wouldn't, that wouldn't stop me from being like, okay, cool. We're not using it. No. So it's a matter of, I guess, preference in that sense. But if I did this, because I, I don't know how big I'd want this cave to be. The map building looks cool. Yeah, I really like it. The main thing I would use it for is effectively depth. Uh, so when you've got like a house or something... That's where it's important because you can be like, okay, they're going into the house. You can l just lift off the roof where instead of having to like switch maps and make a separate map sort of thing for like when you're importing maps into Roll20 or something. Um, so I like it for that, of that regard and just how much they're slowly like they're upgrading it and caring about it and stuff. But yeah, I think it would be fun to play a proper like one shot on this. It's instead of it just being like some of the maps are here, some of the maps aren't. Then again, like it's gonna be like that anyway, because that's just how it would be with online D and D. You just you grab what you can, you do what you can, and use all the resources you can, sort of thing. No, 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 no. I'm gonna remove the fog briefly, cause fucking stop for now. Actually, I'll just change the time of day. Oh, oh, it's daytime, and we don't have a roof of the cave. Do, 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 Where the fuck's the fog again? <laughs> Get out of here. Um, Von Fog. Where are you, Fog? Ah, oh, yes, vertical fog. Uh, let's go atmospheric. No, we'll go none for now. Mainly because I want to see what's happening. Do, 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 do. I don't know. You got D&D on today, Kiwi? I uh, don't know yet. Don't know? Oh, yeah, fair. Yep. Easy. Yeah, easy. how it goes. 
Oh, 100 percent You never really know until fucking an hour before the session, anyway. <laughs> uh, you should know a little bit earlier, but you know, <laughs> unfortunately, it does seem to be a concurrent. Uh, <laughs> that is how it is. Mm. I try. I. It's generally the player's uh, fault. I find, <laughs> as a forever yep. DM. Because we could easily just do a sporadic, like, sort of one shotty thing with this style of thing. But, or, we can also just make maps together. But, I do have, at the very least, two other map programs that I use. Uh, I would say. Also, you can control the water level, so yippee. Oh, okay. So I can be like, guess what, bitches? It's a flood time. Uh, let's lower this briefly. Oh, you're like, oh yeah, you check this out, you pull out something, it's like, fucking surprise, nerd. There we go. It's like, oh shit. Now you're drowning, now you're underwater. You're in an underwater cave system. I can't remember how to select multiple things, so it's hard for me to be like, oh yes, uh, now that you've selected multiple things, you're good. But I think what I'll do is I'll just do that. Because normally you would build something higher in the sky, so it's a little bit easier for you. Because then you can sort of just like, you know what I mean, you've got more control with the water level. But I'm a lazy bitch. I'm a lazy bitch. Um, but yeah, they've got, I want to see, actually, while we're here, ADHD distraction time. <laughs> I want to see what sort of creatures they've got at the moment in medieval fantasy so far. Because they've added a lot more than, I guess, they had before. So we got Aberration... Beast, Celestial... I thought you were just going to stop at the first Don't... two syllables of that first word. <laughs> We've got Abba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone, wants, Abba to, everyone wants to be Abba. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, we got Abba. Yeah. And so we can sort of just be like, oh yeah, and just a whole thing of like, okay, everyone, we're all bards and you're all Abba. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we got... Oh yeah, so we got some dragon folk, which is good. We didn't have that originally. Bonk. Let's, I'll see what that's like in a bit, I guess. <laughs> it's just in this weird, hazy stuff. Oh, yeah, warrior spellcaster. Dwarves. Oh, they've got a few more. Or oh, is he nude? We'll find out in a minute, Twitch. <laughs> uh, then we got elementals. Oh, they got elementals now. Damn, hot diggity. Then we got boobs. Uh, the, then we got elves. Um, mm, tasty. Then we got fey. Sorry, if I do this, it's because I'm having to look past my mic to figure out what the fuck it's saying. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, but sure. Bonk. Giants. Oh, they've got giants now. Hell yeah. Damn. Thick daddy. I am Nish. Yeah, let's just put him in here for now. Good old Nish. we got gnomes. We've already shown one of the gnomes. Goblins. Goblin Ds. Uh, half demon, half demon, half edgy. Um, and now we have, oh yeah, half orcs, good old hawks. Ah! Uh, that's why players should check fireball, <laughs> chuck fireballs and ask questions later. Debatable, debatable. Um, I would say... I agree with this. Maybe. Fireball first, questions later. Maybe, maybe. Feel free to do that as I whip out a fire elemental. <laughs> and then the question you ask later is, was that a good idea? And the answer is very obvious, no. <laughs> and thus you learn not to always throw fireballs. <laughs> oh, and then we got humans. Yes, a lot of humans as fucking always. Because yeah, NPCs and shit. Um, let's grab out fucking ninja, I guess. Is that ninja from Fortnite? Uh. <laughs> oh, cool. They've got fur bogs now. That's cute. Fur bussy. Uh, then we got monstrous. Oh, yeah. Mimics. Good shit. I can't not have mimics. Then we got the kraken or hentai. It's up to you, I guess. Thank you. Ooh, there we go. Orkerton, and we got some undead. That's a few more since I last played this. Hell yeah. They had a lot less creatures before, so this is good. This is what I like to see. Is that everything in this category? I'm going to presume. 
the, the answer is yes. Let's have a gaze. So we got fucking Squidward tentacles. Uh, oh yeah, fair enough. And they're designed like the original sort of miniatures too, which is cool. In some way. Like it's like sort of that sort of style of how you do it. Then you got fucking gigantic dickus. Biggest dickus. Biggest a dickus. Then let's have it's a so funny about biggest, biggest dickus. dickus. <laughs> Gotta love that movie. Uh, Alright, turn this way, you butthole. Whatever, he's not gonna turn this way unless I move him. As a character. Oh yeah, so you can sort of, you can see how a bunch of this works, and with each player you have it assigned to, you can sort of assign it as, okay, yep. And then the fact that you can go, cool, uh, I don't know, fucking wiggle. Oh! <laughs> I love the just basic emotes. Um... Status, they just have knocked down at the moment, so you're fucking dead. Bye, bitch. Uh, enable torch if you can't go and hide and hoo -hoo, surprise. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, enable flying morphs. <gasps> morphs into what? Uh, oh, yeah. So you got a whole bunch of things, and you got fucking spectrusy. <laughs> Good old fucking chongus dongus. Now, if we went to the atmospheric menu, I guess, we put back on the atmospheric fogathy. Then we went back and changed the time to say it's like, so it's daytime and it's becoming nighttime and now it's like, it's hitting that dusk sort of red night sort of area. You're coming along. How much, you can sort of add how much fog multiplier, multiplying fog. First effect. Uh, Frozen, thank you. Do you want to build a snow? Ah! Um, ambient audio, no. Oh, yeah, ambient will say fucking cavern dry. This cavern is fucking dry, eh? <laughs> uh, spooky. Oh, yeah, this is leading towards daytime. You can change where the light is. So, say the fucking sun's there. We'll say it's there. Now, obviously, this has got a lot more light. It'd be a lot darker if you have if you made the roof to it, which would be cool. But I do like the fact that you can sort of be like uh, light, because then it's like a lot darker. In theory, yes. Now, if I got the fog, fucking hey, frozen these nuts. I like that the fog moves. That's always a nice touch. The fact that you can be like, uh, fucking, there we go. There's fucking Gorgoth, the thick goth. <laughs> I want to see what he's like when he twirls. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, but well, there's a lot that you can do, which is good. Kill menu? Why would I kill the menu? Hit seven me? I oh, don't hit me, thank you. <laughs> hey, even. Oh, either one. Either, either. How are you going there? You going well? You having a good one? You vibing? You living the dream? I'm just, I haven't done this in a while, so I thought for a chill stream, yes, trying to relearn this and give it a good old whirl. Trying to re, re figure out what all the stuff's going, what it's like, you know. Let's get rid of this for now, and let's change the daytime back to daytime so people know what the fuck's happening. Chill. Uh, some tail spires. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't touched this in forever. So it's awesome to just sort of come back to it. It's a lot easier than actual just drawing art, less strenuous. So I'm just trying to relearn stuff, see what's been added. I haven't touched this in forever though, but... Have you used much of this before? And... Let's just fucking yeet Mr. Bean over here. Teddy. Kill, kill. Fucking, you know what, I'm just gonna yeet you over here. <laughs> I'll kill them all as a pack later. Pack murdering? Mm, quite a bit, yeah? Oh, awesome. <laughs> what have you thought about all the, the nice old updates so far? We name make you neat. Oh, yes, yes, cool. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to even remember the controls. I keep hitting the Windows button because they me fucking booger. But let's go away from creatures for a bit. Do some more, I guess, basic bitch ass tile placing. Just to see what we want to do. 
Boom. Boom. Can I not go further than that? No, okay, I'd have to lift the map if I want to do that. Okay. That's good to know, I guess. Yeah, so you can sort of only half block it once, I guess. I don't know, it's been a hot minute. Now, if I... What was the buttons again? <laughs> Shit, I can't... Oh, there we go, there we go. And then Alt. Ah, there we go. Masterful. Fucking professional. Do, 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 do. This half block one, uh, once with tiles. I sort of wish you could sort of squidge the tiles a bit more, but you know, eventually we'll be able to get that. Yeah, obviously the non-building ones you can squidge in and stuff, but I guess it's sort of it's like you got to be able to code it in a way that if you wanted to do that, you'd have to do it so it also meant that you could still like have the tiles register it. I don't know exactly how the coding restrictions would affect that, but it would be interesting and useful to have that. Uh, eh. um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, obviously, yes, this can be half tiled, but it's still sort of really just a matter of because these are the block ones. I can't exactly fling this around in the way I'd like. Uh, it's been designed to be building on the fly for DMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very nice and very convenient for. Like, it's sort of it's that feeling of. You don't have money for D&D pieces and you, or you have to do an online game, but you want that D&D piece feel. And I think they've done an amazing job with, um, what they, what they've, like, it's, it was made this year, wasn't it? Under Props Nature, yeah, yeah. There are, there are a few of those and I'll get to that. I'm just trying to see what sort of rough wall stuff I might want to do. It's, you know, it's always fun to have a good old tinker. Let's say if we did something like that. April, I think. Yeah, like exactly. It's, it's been like hasn't been out for long. Um, and because wasn't it a Kickstarter originally? I can't remember. But for the amount of time, like there's a lot of indie games that will start up, or at least indie programs, I guess, because this is less of a game. That would start up, and then they just sort of don't care about upgrading it as much so props to the developers for how much like effort and care they put into it I can put that there that's good do you use this more as a player or more as a DM like Ooh, ooh, I guess. Ooh. I don't know. I'm just vibing. And if there's a one feature that they were to add, what would you think that they should add? Posting most of my stuff on t um, Tail Tavern site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember having a look at that back when I first got this, because it's been so long since I've done this. And it, it's awesome how many, like, amazing creations people have made. Like, the amount of talent people have. Trying to edit my sound like volumes, but the tests don't play the edit volume. Um, yes, okay. So with the volume, um, I would say make sure, you know your browser source for your stream? Make sure that you've got that control audio via OBS so it's a separate audio source and you make sure that's turned on and you make sure your game slash desktop audio is turned on and just see if either of those work uh, and hopefully it works out for you Seraphic Ooh. what are you up to Selene anything funky anything interesting let's chuck some chongy walls I guess oh no actually let's go to the I guess the naturey building part. Uh, fuck off wall. We don't want you. Go to rock. 
because we should get, if we have a look, the stalagmites around here somewhere, if I remember correctly. No, it's in cavern, not rock. I'm a moron. There we go. I believe you. I'm just turning it down. Minus 20 decibels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it means that means it works. <laughs> I believe you. Doing some doodly art and vibing. Hell yeah. Doodle art. Doodle 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 art. Yeah, well, if, if, uh, yeah, so, um, I'll probably fucking butcher the name, but, uh, OIT, <laughs> OT or OIT, I don't know how you want it pronounced, but, um, always feel free to pop, uh, Alt 2, yeah, yeah, OT, awesome, awesome. Yeah, if at any point, um, you want, feel free to always just share your awesome art and stuff that you've made in it, um, because we have, I have a Discord and in there there's like, there's an art spot and a D and there's a whole stuff, I'm still working on it when I get the health and time to. <laughs> but yeah, always feel free to fling your stuff there, I'll be really interested to see uh, what creations you've made. Because like the amount of time and effort put, DMs put in is always like interesting, it's really cool to see. So, no, always feel free to pop by if you want. But no pressure either. Definitely won't have it as loud as Oya has it. Oh yeah, Oya fucking... I think Oya wants to have her eardrums destroyed by it. It's in... It's just, he does the fucking volumes at another level. Uh, but... I... You know what, let's do this. Mm-hmm. I did this. Oh, thanks so far, man. Appreciate it. Don't have to do that if you don't want, but it's always lovely to have you around. Hope you're well. Uh, I should turn off the grid, because I'm being a fool. Actually, no, I forgot it does that in DM mode. Bam. But yeah, now welcome. Thanks for popping by. Absolute gem. Absolute legend. Hehe, <laughs> penis. Inserting rock. Uh, grew up with tinnitus, TBH. Oh, okay, don't know any difference. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's fair. I occasionally, like, get worried when my ears start ringing. I'm like, don't you dare give me fucking tinnitus. I need my ears. <laughs> I need to be able to hear, please. I get sensory overload too much because of my pain and my health conditions. I ain't... <laughs> I don't want both. Uh, I sound like a phasmophobia ghost, but I'm thinking, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it's a croaking frog. Oh yes, yes. Gotta love a fucking croaky froaky. My name's Frog, and I'm croaking. Yeah, Let's change frogman. the lighting. Oh, good day. My name's Frogman. There uh, we go. Felix Give me a frogman. bit more light. Oh, hi guys, I'm Felix Frogman. What up? Well, uh, you I'll get a one tinnitus, today. your ears are fucked anyway. <laughs> uh, you're, yeah. Post most of your stuff on top. Yeah, yeah, so, let's see. Just trying to edit my sound notes, just making sure I didn't miss some things while I got absorbed into it. Because it's very easy for me to get absorbed into map making. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah, you've got the static vision too. Fucking, you're like an old radio. How old are you? <laughs> oh gosh. Ghost breaks out and says, Hello, my darling. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Hello, my honey. Hello, my heard it too. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Why, yeah, television yeah. that's been hit in the side by a bat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or it's just like, <laughs> Why play a VHS like, horror game? Like, they're in fashion now. Just play a normal horror game and you're already there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. Oh yeah, Uti, do you use any, what other programs do you use for map building, I guess, if any? Um, cause do you use much Asgars for like, big map stuff? Do you use much Dungeon Painter Studio? Cause I'll be interested to, to, I guess, hear what other stuff you tend to, I guess, like and use. Fuzzy and blurry, not the same, yeah. I feel like you just need to speak to gamers about that. 
Fuzzy and blurry, they're two very, very different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. It's like, you don't understand. It's clear. It's just zzzz. Not, huh? It's zzz, not huh? Why can you not understand? Zzz, not huh? What about the zzz you not understand? <laughs> zzz, zzz, not huh? <laughs> Majority of your work is in Tailspire? Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's a very good program. And coming back to it today, it's really interesting. They've added a shit ton more stuff and I like it. Yes, things are blurry too because I'm blind. Thanks, you dad. Oh no. <laughs> so, the holy trifecta. Oh, the VHS Trinity. Well, the fuzz is still different. 100%. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Uh, if the root systems are here and here, it's probably only two, two fucking trees. Two trees, fucking. Two fucking trees. Boom, do, 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 Oh. Yeah. Astigmatism? No, that's different as well, I think, if I remember correctly. Because astigmatism is more like how the it's the distortion in the eyes which leads towards the, the bleeding light effect rather than either of those two things. Yeah, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but that is my, I guess, non-professional knowledge on astigmatism. That's my, I'm a dumb, tired fuck who's on prescribed weed. Do not trust everything I say. <laughs> well, the stigmatism was just blurry vision. Well, it's more if I, because I remember at one stage trying to look in to see if that's what I had at one stage. Uh, so, I, th I thought it was more like, it's just like the the cornea or whatever it is is slightly like... Um, yeah, your lens the, don't work. Your lens don't work like they used to before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Thank you, sir. Oh, Fresh shaping lens. Uh, okay, lazy eye. Ah, oh, yep, yep. Yeah, there's so many fucking eye conditions. It's like, what the fuck? Oh. Eye carumba. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of years of evolution. <laughs> human, 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 eye is fun. <laughs> human evolution, also human evolution. We've learned to pretend things are not bad. But that doesn't help us. <laughs> it helps us forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh I guess I guess seeing as you've done this a lot Uteri, um, I might as well just chuck the fucking links in case Nightbot hasn't done it um, but if there isn't any particular uh, when it comes to, because you know how you can use, a bit like Minecraft, you can use the nature tools to blend in with the building tools to sort of give a different effect of what an object is or how it looks is there anything, tips or anything in particular of notice that works extremely well for their environments? Because I haven't done played this that much. This is the first time in forever since I've played it to begin with. Uh, actually, if I look at my library now, a lot of it would have been me just staring at the game going, huh. Uh, yeah, this is, I've only played like 15 hours of it. So, I'm still a good old newbie. So. I've got to dip again, actually. I've just been sent a test for my new forklift license. Ooh, stop pretending to be yeah. fucking homeless, you fucking dipper. <laughs> but what? You dip it uh, all the time. Funny, funny, <laughs> funny, funny, funny guy. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, my distinguished yeah. gentleman. Well, good luck with that. That like as well. So I can and... um, handle yeah. dangerous goods this time instead oh, of just me kind of winging it. <laughs> Not just that cake of yours. <laughs> Other oh, dangerous no. goods too. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anyway, All right. I'm gonna smash out this test, okay? Alright, yeah, good luck. You got this. Catch it, G. Yeah. Uh, avoid having flat gown ground when it comes to nature. Also, when placing vegetation, just go crazy and random when it's placement. Don't design it, design it, scatter it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, because obviously things grow in a wild sort of crazy pattern, but it's also it's leading towards a certain direction because everything's trying to get to the sun, so it's not a flat thing. And then obviously I know like graphic design the rules of three, and then the scratches of three, and all lines of three, and all that sort of shit. Um, but yeah, no, that's interesting. Is there, I can't remember, is there a bleed tool, or whatever you would call, where you can place multiple objects like a brush at once? Because I'm pretty sure there was when I first played it months and months and months ago, but I can't remember, it's been too fucking long. Um, gonna go nab some water, be right back. Yeah, see you in a bit, Seraphic.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to make it try and look natural and stuff. Like at the moment, I'm still trying to figure out what the best thing is to sort of blur the plateauy sort of edges with the cave rocks. Um, but I love that. I love this sort of like I guess figuring out and just sort of slowly working in some weird way, I guess. Um, now what's this? Aberration. Oh, okay. So the aberration stuff is more just like fucking cool Cthulhu cave. Okay. But I could probably use some of that stuff, even if that's what is if it's designed for one thing, it can be used for something else as well, potentially. I'll have to look at how it looks. Maybe another time for these. Um, but what do we got? We got food and drink, furniture, that is a misc mis misc exterior. What is in here? Debris, maybe. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> uh, not for props, you can click. Uh, tiles can. Yeah, I know she can do that for tiles, but I was wondering if you could do that for props. But that's a shame that you can't, but it makes sense. Like, I guess it's sort of. It's one of those things that I think would help, because if you could do that like a bleedy sort of tool, then you don't have to worry about the continuous placement. Um, oh, is there anything you've found that works the best when you're trying to bleed props into the road pieces so it looks more gravelly. I'm presuming a mixture of these sort of things, but I'm curious with your experience, like what your initial, what your thoughts are and what works and what doesn't. Um, cause that still looks too debris. What about this one? That just looks like someone left their fucking stuff there. Too debris. Uh, this one's sort of, I guess. Not entirely, it's too scattered. Not with that one either. Overlapping tiles, the riverbed one has some nice rocks that look good clipped into grass. Oh, okay. Uh, so that would be... Get away. So we go to here, and if I went to... Because, yeah, they I noticed I read up that they added more watery stuff, didn't they? Um, so that would be in nature, presumably. Here we are. And river tiles. Does it jingle swamp grassland? I guess. Rather, a stairs, lava floor, wall, 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 arch, corner, stair. No, I didn't say red, you boob of a thing. River. Hmm. Before the snow. Okay, easy, easy. Dunka, dunka, dunka. Nature tiles before the snow. Oh, I see. Easy. Cause I thought, I, I thought that was more snow stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's clever. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about this one? Interesting. Hmm. When you overlap tiles, is there a tile priority where it's like first tile and then second tile placed? Or... Maybe. I'm going to try that out. If I went this... And then I went this. Okay, yeah. Whereas if I did this and then this. Okay, so it still has the same. No, it, it, it's got to do with the shape and of the asset, not the same size. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Easy. Okay. Interesting, yeah. Because it's like, I like that you can bleed them. Uh, I sort of wish you can do a bit more, I guess, you made it a bit more versatile, I guess. It's a shame that you can't, but I guess there is also that level of how do you program it without it causing issues with, like, because if you're doing a lot of clipping stuff, you have to make sure that other things don't also clip when it comes to things like creatures and stuff like that. I mean, you could sort of do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't realize like that. Some like it's the amount of stuff. Like how much this stuff is on the roof of a tile, I guess. Mm -hmm. Fancy. Rotate and double up the tiles if you need to. Oh, because then yeah, because if you keep it the same, it won't rotate properly. But if you rotate it, then it'll um, yeah, it'll show more sort of thing. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. And I like that you can sort of add... The issue I, I have with it, though, is I think... If we look at... I think those 
pieces here are a bit too prominent but i guess you could use in turn you could use nature tiles to sort of balance that out because you could probably go to this um and then so we went to yeah back to debris maybe uh no what we want is nature and we probably want to find is there something that looks oh yeah there was soil wasn't there soil eh? oh. ah it's loading because i haven't used this one before yeah there we go interesting so you could probably place ah uh, but it's only one piece i forgot that <laughs> that does make things slightly difficult Stay a little bit higher because I want to see what pops up and what doesn't. Okay, if that's too high. I mean, that can sort of work. But obviously, it gets rid of the nicer road pieces. It's interesting, I think, is the main thing. Like, it could work if, like, a flood. I think this would work if you had a flood going through the area. Because this looks like a flood's gone through and sort of destroyed the area. Because then you can easily add, like, you can go back to debris or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It feels like, okay, yeah, you've just had a flood go through. Yeah. Oh, this is why I love this sort of stuff. It's so customizable. But obviously, actually getting those pieces yourself is so fucking expensive in real life. And then you have to worry about the space. Sometimes you use the mud tile, chocolate brownies, and other tiles to dress up. Yes. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the things I love about this and any other game where you can customize the environment is using something that isn't meant to be that thing to be something else. Like, obviously, like what you said with the cho chocolate brownies or, like, examples in Minecraft would be something like using trap doors and stuff like that to make it seem like there's, like, I don't know, like a chair and things like that. It's just that interesting. You use buttons to make it seem like something else. I love that use of here's one thing but you can use it to do something else sort of thing. Now, when I'm in this sort of DM mode, what's the best way to make sure the grid's not showing at all? Or is that just like always gonna be there when you're placing something? It's probably in the actual settings. I'm probably just asking a very dumb question. <laughs> but to be fair, that is me. I am not the greatest. Uh, when placing it, it'll be there, but hit G. Yeah. Yeah, I know how to do that when you're not placing it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was curious if it you could also make it effect when you are placing it, but... Alright. It's good to know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, no, but... I do like that you can sort of do these as well, because it looks like... Sorry. Ah! Get down there. I do enjoy being like... It almost looks like... I don't know the debris of like something else but not entirely so you could sort of add stuff to it like it's a broken fence because if I did this and then maybe I like this I like trying to figure out how would you make A or B so say we went to fence we could probably go and we've got the normal fence fuck off fence no one likes you I don't like that that's a full on like palisade wall fence um Let's see, what other options did I have? They've added a lot since I've last played this. I mean, mad respect. Uh, Palisade, no, ladder, f uh, just normal fancy things I don't like though, they're too smooth. I'm thinking of more like a uh, picket fence that isn't full Palisade, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, you got booped in the eye with a sticker. Ah! How could you do that? That's so rude. I'd need me eye. Keep me eye intact, thank you. Um, I, I mean, this thing, thing sort of could work, I guess. Give me the thingy, magicy. No, I didn't want that. Oh. Um, how do you conveniently use this sort of bar here? Is it sort of like you sort of drag the thing onto it? It's not a big issue, but it'd be like, okay, would it be more convenient or not? I don't know. Now, 
All of this stuff's pretty interesting. You gotta add mushrooms. You can't not add mushrooms. I love mushrooms on like in any sort of like foresty environment, even if it's been flooded. Little pine corns. No, they would have been like fucking brushed away, I guess. Pine corns? Pine cone, you butthole. <laughs> now if I went like this. There we go. And then we can sort of go like that. And then we go. Hey. -ya! There we go. Yeah. From the build menu, right click and drag to the bottom of the assets. Oh, excellent. Thank you. That's good to know. Honestly, uh, that is amazing. Because there are some things that it's just like. I use them so often. <laughs> Especially things like, you know, just general nature stuff. Because honestly, nature is OP in this patch. <laughs> Please nerf. <laughs> but, no, I like it. Um, what do you think is your favorite thing to build in Tailspire? It's not covered in the tutorial at all for some reason. I mean, they're adding, they're trying to add so much. So I guess their focus at the moment is adding things. And then hopefully later they're like, now we've added a decent amount of things, we will then go from adding a decent amount to uh, doing stuff. Currently building Castle Ravenloft. Oh, yes, I love that castle. Good shit. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, no, that's sick. Yeah, Castle Ravenloft's a great castle to build. Good choice. Um, now, there's these little, obviously the little fucking lilies. I wonder if you can use them for anything else. So if they were like that, I don't know. You could stack them up, I guess. I'm going to try it. Let's go over here and just stack these. Why, you might ask? I don't know yet. But I want to see if it does something. Or at least gives me an idea. I'm going to say it does not. <laughs> Unless you want to make a... Just shitty pile of leaves, I guess. I mean, you could use it for bedding if you're doing like some like shit house bedding. You'd have to mix it with something else, I guess. Realistic knocking, don't you dare! Nope. No, get out of me fucking ears! Those are my ears, not yours. Stop it! No. No. Yeah, no, don't do that. Hold on. I don't care. Let chat out of the basement. No! We're here to stay. Whether you like it. <laughs> you live here. I wanted to do that so bad, but you're 300 jars off. <laughs> Rip. I can't just give points to people, so... Sorry! You'll get there. I mean, you can save off for some of the big ones. I think... I know Coda always loves saving up for... Um, what's the three, what's one of the 3k ones I'm trying to remember that Coda loves? Oh yeah, it's the slept at a pa sleep at a party. The sleep at a party one is pretty great. I gotta admit, I'm happy I thought of that one. <laughs> Hold on. I guess let's go back to treat, but I like taking care of streamers when I can. That's fair, that's nice of you. But does it help you? <laughs> let's say if I did... Now, obviously, if I did this, what side? Map, go away. Oh. <laughs> now, hydrates and stretches are important. Very true. Very true. Um. Oh, I remember I saw the nest thing, and I thought that that could be useful for something else. So if I said nest, yes. I wonder, can you instead? Yes, you could clip it in. Effectively, you could do something like this presumably and then add all the stuff to it because you could effectively have like some sort of like elven hideout based around that because then you could go back to nature and then you can add these sort of bits wherever the fuck you want I guess up here presumably because uh, you would presume that this fuck off tree Do, 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 do. 
But I guess if people like more of this, I'll do more of this. Because I hadn't touched Tailspar in a while and I was sort of worried people wouldn't be interested. So if you're interested, then <laughs> definitely let me know because I'm enjoying this. I like doing what I enjoy. Um, now Udi, because I remember Sir, uh, Celine had a really good idea, or at least uh, thought and stuff like that, and it was just like, do you know if they plan to, or if there's an easy way to, I guess, when it comes to, at the very least, nature pieces, to increase and decrease the size of the asset? Um, so it's like, okay, I want this, but I want to increase it, and stuff like that. Just message you in Discord. Irma just built an entirely out of burn. Ooh, okay. I'll have a look at that. Uh, give me two seconds. Uh, refresh me how to insert, because I remember you can, that's really cool, I like that, yeah, 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 I like that a lot, I really like the skull you did, and, yeah, there's some, uh, yeah, 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 you got a really good use of those bones and stuff, it's got some very good atmosphere to it, if you have a, like, full-on, like, finishing, scaling is not on the cards, I figured as much, but if it was on the cards, or plans to be, whoo, that would be so good for this. Like, honestly. Just uh, the amount of stuff that you could do if you could scale. Mmm, mint. Um. Yeah, well, I'm am here. Because that would be so good. But, obviously, I remember there's a way to sort of, like, have import slash export links. Uh, so when you finish Careful Ravenloft, feel free to let me know. And just give me, like, sort of the, the link. And I can I always, like happily show that sort of stuff on stream because if I end up with a lot of people that enjoy this and make their own stuff like that would be really fun to do like a stream where I'm just like showing some of the really cool stuff the community is making because like there's so much talent and just anything to do with like creating D&D &D stuff is really cool yeah it's a sort seraphic give me a minute redeem hats off to you it's hat in time all right all right I'll find a hat give me a minute you little boob no one's used that one yet so I wasn't prepared <laughs> I'll find a hat. I'll find a hat. No, I'm not trying to copy some. There we go. Now, if I did this, yes, that is not close enough. Slide it. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Uh, there we go. So that's sort of like there. I could tinker around with that a fucking shit ton. I guess you can with most of this stuff. Now my depth perception is awful, so I will notoriously go and be like, ooh, here's this thing, and then fucking... It'll be nowhere near the object. Uh, so we will deal with that. <laughs> as uh, interesting as that can be. Uh, if there was a sort of style of asset or type of asset that they they could or would add, uh, I guess everyone here, Celine, Seraphic, um, Udi, or everyone else that's just listening like the little gremlins they are, uh, if they were to add something or a style of thing, what, 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 what should I would they add? Because I think that'd be really. There's, there's a lot of things that they can add. Um, oh, I did that silly, didn't I? Hold on. I'll put that fucker there. That's a bit better. And then I'll go Desert Ruins, Raider Star. Oh, yes, that would be really good. Yeah, I think, yeah, it definitely needs a lot more deserty stuff, I think. Um, I think a lot more spell effects, or like like permanent spell effects, not just on a, on a model, but ones that's like, here's this 
spell or creature sort of thing or thing that's going off in the ground like you know what I mean more atmospheric things will-o'-wisps and pure chaos exactly yeah 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 no we're, we're, on, we're thinking the same noggin hmm but uh, yeah no definitely I think there's like a lot of that sort of stuff puddle effects are on the way Ooh. do they have any spicy deadline or de or like ideas or is that just like a it's coming but without any when is it coming when will you come when will you come? Which is alright. I don't want to rush them because it's better that they take time and do something they enjoy and do it well than to rush it. And that's with everything, I think. Now, these might be interesting if I shove them in there as almost like little. almost looking like support beams, I guess. And yes, I do know the hat redeems traffic. I have not forgotten, don't you worry. Uh, personally, I'm a Tropic style builder in most games. So I don't know. Yeah, no, that's fair. They have a little bit of Tropic stuff, but I guess it is that sort of, I guess if they added a lot more pirate Tropic sort of as uh, aesthetics so that you could have a better rainforesty feel and oceany Vikingy sort of thing if they had things like you know a lot of boat stuff potatoes <gasps> Thank you You sustained me <laughs> But yeah a lot of I guess sort of stuff that will make that you want to make NZ in there I mean I respect that but like how good is your computer? Because <laughs> there'll be a lot of assets and stuff like how good is your computer with something like blender? <laughs> Because I think, yeah, there'd be a, a point where it would start lagging if you're making something like that. But that would be really cool. I think the glowworm caves in New Zealand would be really cool to make. You could probably make something similar. Um, uh, I would say Uti is probably the best um, that's, like, within this chat and community that I know. Because this is my first time doing Tailspire on stream and in ages. So I guess, Uti, if you have any, like, immediate thoughts of how you would replicate that sort of style... Um, then I guess, yeah, feel free to impart, impart your wisdom upon us. Uh, let me quickly grab like one or two more thingies. Oh, yeah, that could work. Oh, I like this. Yes, that works well. Because you can sort of do the same around here. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot more that I could do to this, but just in a general sense. Stop bouncing. This isn't a fucking rave. Calm down. <laughs> now, I guess the real test is, can someone, like an elf, or a goblin, fit in here? Because if they can't, it would make things a little difficult. So let's say we have this elf. Hello, elf. And Monsieur Elf here. Oi, elf, fine. Oh. Elf! You fool! No! Oh, I removed a piece. Control Z. There we go. Build mode off. No. Move it back. Build mode off. Not grab the titties. Now, I'm gonna say, you there, can you fit in here? Not entirely. Ah, but now we've got an extra layer to deal with. Yes, yeah, so this area would need to be, I guess, a little bit bigger so that they could fit in there. It's good to know. What about a goblin? Goblin D's! Goblin! Goblin D's nuts! Do -do 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 -do. Goblin D's nuts. Let's go for a goblin, but the base is probably the same size, so. Yoink! Uh. I'll do that, because I want to be able to hop up here. You, goblin, get your fucking skinny dickus up here. There we go. Most of the projects at the moment are Windows, ME, Microsoft, and, like, XP at the moment, though. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. No, oh, that'd be really cool. Yeah, and built for others. Oh, okay. Do they have graveyard horror assets? They have a bit. Yeah. Uh, this time is the general community field. We trust them in their work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is cool. It's cool. 
Um, no ETA though, but yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, there's a bunch of whole things would be really cur uh, like interesting if they could add it and make it work. Now these are things that I think I'll need to move. So if I did that, and if I did, oh wait, if I did this, let's hop out of build mode. You can you hop in here yet? Ah, almost. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right, so that will need a little bit more fucking squeezing around, I think. I will actually need the grid on, I think. The builder's grid is here to stay. The builder's grid knows everything. Everything. Na, 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 na. Down one ball, thank you. Because uh, I want to see what is blocking the path here. Oh, yes, we need to move these, I guess, support beams. Because we want them to be in here, roughly. So if we move the support beams. Because we sort of want to make sure that these things... Hey! Nope, none of that. Cause if, oh, we could have, like, corner pieces instead. Then they're less likely to worry about, oh, is this working or not, you know? Wee! Oi! Oh, you don't. Oh, I love the shift tool, that's so useful. Hmm. If I did something like this. So if you're quiet for a bit. No, no, no. You do what you need to do. And that's alright. Uh, it's uh, been really nice having you here. And always feel free to come by. Whether that be chatting in stream, chatting in Discord. Whether that be just hanging out. Always feel free. It's always. It's just nice having people here and have a nice vibe. That's the main thing. I just sort of want to make a nice, nice community. Some nice friends and just chill out. Have a good time. So say if we did this, I'm gonna obviously this is gonna look a lot worse, but ah, goblin, can you move forward? Take it up, goblin. These nuts, can you go in here? Thank you, goblin. Almost there, almost able to hop in there. No, lower the fucking thing. Thank you. I should probably add like a ladder or something, maybe. That might help. Because the miniatures are a little bit janky, danky, wanky. There we go. Yeah, okay, okay. We're getting there. However, I need to put on a hat for Seraphic. And I also need to check a message. So, uh, for the people who are new here, normally I do two sets of four hours if I'm well. A lot because I'm like there's a, some, a lot of chronic health issues so there's a lot of mixture of like things that will be like okay health here health there if you know what I mean uh. oh sorry responding to a message and then now I'm gonna find a hat because that was the requirement. <laughs> oh, why do I have that alert? I oh, know it's fun. I like doing weird shit. Hmm. The adventure for a hat begins. Grab yourself a cup of water or something because it may take me 30 seconds to find a hat. So I'll fucking effectively consider it as a BRB, I guess. I'm gonna put it for 30 seconds. Ah, uh, and I'll find a hat.
Hey, yes, then, um, yes, spare blanket. Oh, I need to reset up the studio room area with some little um, unsorted. Go away, board game! Not right now. No, a board game stream would be fun, it would be very difficult. find a hat elsewhere. Hat is acquired. Mm -hmm. Hat has been acquired. Hat gang. I hope you approve of the hat, sir. <sighs> now that it is hat time. Blunk blunk. Music is now too quiet. <laughs> ah! So what was the issue we were facing? Is there a way to multi-select multiple, I guess, assets slash objects or not? Like, I guess I presume not, but, eh, who knows. This is going to be here. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Anyone have any thoughts or ideas or things that we might want to add? So I like the idea of just slowly just making fun little stream map things and just looking back at them. I don't know. Because I'm just vibing. Because obviously if you're doing like D&D &D and stuff, you have like an idea in mind and just some thing. At the moment I'm just like, it's just enjoying the process I guess. It's a process. I'll make sure this is in the same height as this one. I wonder.
obviously I'm going to need to adjust the top bit and the bottom bit a bit. But say this was like this. The question really is at the moment, if I can get the goblin in there. Yes, goblin D's. Um, if I can get the goblin in there. That should in turn mean it works. Dokie. I left out of the build mode. Okay, kiddo dokie, dokie, dokie. That's going to be here. We could try that. Because if we can get them to go up, then it's at least practical. There we go. Step one complete. Can you hop in? Can you get. No! Why can't you go in, little boy? Why can't you go in there? Alright, build time again. Now, if I was to be like this, do, 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 do. Yes, is it because they're intruding on that? And so it's probably best if they were more like this, maybe. Because then they're not exactly in the piece that he's walking onto. They're more like the corner of it. Because in reality, he doesn't really need to be able to move too far forward. He just needs to be able to get fucking in there. Let's hop out of building mode and... Oh, can he? Oh, can he get in there successfully now? Yeah, he can't hop out of those because he doesn't need to. This one he can though. Oh, okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. I'm gonna move this one out a bit. Why can we move out of this and not that? Make sure. Oh my gosh, no 
do that. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So if we hop down a build mode. We can get in. Not all the time there. There's something that's stopping him. What would it be that's stopping here? What is stopping him? Build mail to activate. I mean, that should be fine. So if we went like this. And then we went out of build mode. Can this guy up and down? Bong, 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 bong. Almost. Got a build mode. There we go. We can now successfully do this without having to worry. So in theory... If I went to the night cycle of it being, okay, it's heading towards the darkness. Yeah, that's the atmospheric one that looks the nicest. Now if I'm like this, obviously people... Where is the sun coming from? I like this one because the shadow means they're less likely to see the goblin, so... <laughs> Excellent. Because then you can also go effects... Frozen, you can then go to switch to players and now this thing and go vertical frog and go uh, atmospheric fog or calm fog uh, and you can get the layer of fog wherever you want. Jeez. 
you can go to around here, I guess. Without too many issues. I went for the water level up to around here. Little twinkles of water, I guess. Yeah, water seeping through those cracks. There we go. So this is sort of the height I'm thinking. If he's in here. Yes. So there's that little fucking goblin in there that we can maneuver, I guess, and make a big old fucking tree out of it. However, it is 1pm. Normally around here, 9, 30, 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 31. It's like three and a half to four hours. Normally I'd stop around 1.30, but I need to check to see when I'm going for my appointment. And then normally it would be a bit of a break, and then I'd come back later. So, for those of you watching, I will probably still potentially stream later depending on my health. Um, at the very least though, and we're not stopping just yet, but at the very least, one, stay for a raid, raids are cute, and two, links if you haven't already, just so you can come join the Discord and, you know, be part of the cool old community, because uh, I love you all. And I want to see, 1.30 is when uh, I'll be there, which means very likely, we've got a few minutes left. And, I, uh, and those few minutes, I think, are probably best if I just use them to just make things that things are all good. But, this is Tailspire, I guess. Uh, we can always do some fun one-shots and do more of this that people like. Um, as a rough concept, though, map's going okay. There's a lot more work to do. I want to make this tree fucking thicker. I want to finish off making an actual bit more of a cavern than just ogre. But, you know... Each stream will have different things, so maybe I might just, like, leave this and do a different project. Who knows? Because I like having just this world I can jump between and go, here's this one. Can you put things on signs? That's probably a good thing to figure out. It's a sign! There we go. Um, oh, we can, we can. I did this. Um, oh, this one might be good. Because this is... Which ways are things going? That's a good spot for the sign, I think. I guess. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you can go here, you can go there, you can go there. Let's do that. Put the sign here. Oh yes, and then you can have more of these fuckers. Oh, and then you get more of these that you can dangle off everything. My fucking favorite. Honestly though, these are so good. favorite pieces in this entire thing probably because we can dangle this fucker and go up a bit up the fucking tree obviously to make sure this looks nice we probably want to put it in check it out in every lighting because we can change what whether it's day night or what the fuck ever um but what's this thing see this oh fuck off see you i do see you oh -ho -ho. There we go. Rock of the air. There we go. It's rock time. So effectively, you can sort of just start rocking some things. Nothing wrong with a nice few bits of rock. What's this here? That's that. That's that. That's that. That's all, that's that, da 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 but Either way, it seems to be all in this area, I would say. Which is nice, which is nice. I wonder if you can copy and lock a set of tiles. So if someone knows that, let me know, and then you can sort of use that as like, here's some mud. Because we made like a cool muddy tile there. I lower the fucking fog. Yeah. 
nice cool sort of mud tile there. I like that. I like that a lot. And that sort of might even fit this aesthetic better than the average road tile. Um, what the fuck is this? A dead tree? No. <laughs> Everything's alive. To some extent. Oh, I don't want that. That's a big fuck off tree. Big fuck off tree. It can fuck off. Fuck off tree. Do 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 do. Uh, we can probably, obviously, I would <laughs> next time I'll sort of like change the fog a bit so we can see what we're doing there. But at this point in time, it looks kind of cute. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. What is that? It's a big rock. I like the cave that we've started as well. It's pretty cute. It's a cute old cave. Can't really complain about the cave. The cave is good. As it should be. Oh, there we go. There's our fucking rocks. Rocks. Um, what else is there that might be useful? Oh, we got our fucking spindly windly grass. Gotta love that. Spindly grass. Do 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 grass that spindles. Spindly grass. Hmm, there might be more work needed there. Now we probably want mushrooms as well. We want a little bit more life. We want more life in this mess. All right, fucker. Mushrooms. Do 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 do. Hmm. Mossy boulder. That's a nice boulder. Thank you, donkey. Now we can. No, oh, I didn't want to favorite it. I wanted to grab it. Grab it by the balls. Probably put that there. There you go. And probably do the same around here. And here. Uh huh. Wah, 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 wah. You're a spindly little bitch. Do 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 spindly little bitch. Can I even see what this is? I guess, sort of. <laughs> we'll have a look at it in, in the daytime bit in a bit, because then, <laughs> then we'll see what the fuck we're even doing. But it's good to be able to see what it'll look like in different environments and times, so that. Yeah, so that you sort of can gauge how natural it looks. Because um, if it looks odd in one time and decent in another, there might be something to improve on in some weird way, I guess. Let's do that, I think. 
No, I don't want snow. Are we gonna even use this map? I don't know. But I'm having fun making it, and that's the main thing. Oh, amazing. Uh, I guess let's say this wheat a thing. Wheat. I didn't want harvested wheat. Oh, uh, is there a thing that says crops? Mix exterior farm stuff. Oh, there is. Good. Because now, I always forget with farm stuff. Boom, boom. I like the idea of there being some debris. Maybe. But I have to think about how we would put it in a reasonable way. But. For now. Let's look at a little, nice little time lapse thing. I like it here for the moment. And now, let's have a nice little look. It's not finished, but we have ourselves the tree that we're going to have a little goblin in. That's not necessarily going to be there, we're just testing things. Nice little set of crops. Why would they be there? Oh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's just to test things. And then a cave we're working on. But, for now, that's pretty interesting. So what we can do... It's the easiest way to save it. Oh, yes. Okay, so Unknown Realm 2. Ah, and this is where we'd go... Eh? Now, how would we switch back? That I can't remember. Flashlight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One, two, three. We got. How do we switch again? B for building mode, obviously. GM. What I'm going to do is board. I'm going to go back to number one. So this should take us back to what we just made, in theory. It does. Awesome. We're good to go. What I'm going to name it is Cave and Crop. I'm going to name it Cave and Crop. A bit easy to remember that way. I presume this is going to save. If it isn't, well, we've seen it. And <laughs> we know what we're going to do next, I guess. But. Oh. I think for now, we're going to raid someone. And we'll come back later, as long as my health isn't awful. Um, I think it's very nice. So if there's someone in particular we have, there is the channel point thing. Uh, guiding the raid. 
Otherwise, let's see if any of my friends are having a good time. However, I do love you all. It's good to see you all. I think what we're going to do is we're going to raid often. They're a good old, good fun vibe, and they also play D&D a lot and do a lot of, like, fun stuff. They're a good old gem. So let's give them some support and some love. With the good old Savvy Raid. So, you know, if you've got the taco, then you're good to taco. Let's see. There we go. Love you all. See you all in a bit, presumably. Um, keep an eye on the Discord and I'll let you know. That's the best way to keep on track, rather than Twitter. <laughs> Love you all. Take care of yourselves and probably see you later. Give them some love. Whoa, 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 whoa.